I gotta learn who I'm dealing with today. Explain. What? I think I know the two of y'all, but we gotta learn y'all even further. Okay. You wanna go deeper? Whoa. No, Diddy. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's do it like that. What do you mean? Let's go. Okay, okay. Let's go. That's how a lot of nonsense. I'm trying to go. Yeah, before you even like get to know me, you ever heard of a uh, dungeon dick? What the fuck? Nah, where you pull that from? Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> But keep going. No, expound. Yeah. Nah, expound nah, with you. Wait, no, you? Why yeah. You? Nah, but get to know, no, but get to know me. Oh with my Dungeon God. Dick? No. Nah. You, you said it. Bro, you started the pot saying you was going to get to know Reggie yes. and I a little better. But I say why you said Dungeon Dick. And then just like, oh, let's move on. Yeah, because I, I, I wanted to know if y'all was familiar with the term. You hopped in the car, hijacked it, kicked me out on some GTA nah, shit. Nah, 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 nah. I don't even know what just happened. I want to give it back. I want to give it back. That's a hard transition. Dungeon Dick is a hard transition. All right. I was at a restaurant over the past weekend. Oh. So, Wait, what restaurant? Huh? What restaurant? Yeah, forget this, the, forget yeah. The name of it. As you get to know oh. us, we're gonna get to know you. So every time you was, say something, we are get you gatekeeping the question. restaurant? Yeah, no, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was Thai food. I just literally. <gasps> I love Thai food. Yeah. Okay. I hate it. <gasps> you had Thai food before? Yeah, that shit's trash. Stop it! It's, so. it's overrated. What it's the over, fuck? It's overrated. What do you say? Okay, what you order? Pad Thai? Yeah. What you have? Pad Thai. I don't know. Thai food is not overrated. You never had pad to you? I got the fried rice. Period. Come on. You never had some pad to you? Fried rice, noodles, and dumplings. Oh gosh. What the, the typical starter pack? Yeah, fact. No, no. <laughs> but you like no. all those things. Like, how could it be trash? It, because I was expecting <laughs> like, five dollar, the five dollar Chinese, Chinese food. spot food. <laughs> yeah. So then when you get, the tie all... is like exotic Chinese, nigga. I'm like, yo. Same on. Not all exotic Asians Chinese. are the same. No, just the food. <laughs> He's like, I went to a Thai restaurant and expected the fucking wings and <laughs> you the fried this, rice. I asked for duck sauce. You want to spare rib tips at the Not Thai spot? Not every Asian restaurant is <laughs> Chinese food. You want a pork fried rice and all that? <laughs> yo, this nigga, oh yo, my he went to the God. Thai spot and said, yo, let me get french fries, hot sauce, ke- hot sauce ketchup. <laughs> yo, over, like yesterday, <laughs> I saw rice. this fucking influencer. She posted a video. She's she's traveling to China right now. Yeah. And over the video, she put like a K-pop song. I'm like, not all Asians are fucking <laughs> See, like just, crazy. just know, the same. You I didn't know the same shit. Nah, I know better than to do that. I'm yeah, feeling very attacked right now. It's All right. It's like if you go to Wendy's, you go to McDonald's, you go to Burger King, they all have a variation the sweet and sour sauce it just tastes and look a little bit different so if i go to the thai spa and say y'all need duck sauce wait. give me the thai duck sauce but they have different dishes <laughs> but they should have the same kind like you can't go into the thai spa like yo let me get some sesame chicken like, like it doesn't no they just <laughs> no. like they don't have sesame chicken it's different well cuisines. that shit wasn't good goddamn. <laughs> you know i don't that? trust your opinion now <laughs> wait, real quick you know what that just reminded me of and alex i know we're gonna get to your point yes no, you're have y'all ever seen a commercial for chinese for the for the chinese spot in the hood it markets itself, no. No, yeah, I don't. It's not. A, it's not a commercial. It doesn't need it. It's a need but it. there's mad Chinese spots and mad hoods. That's why. And they're Almost all like successful. They're the same. They know that they're gonna sell out regardless. They don't need to put out a little ad out. Yo. And you can always <laughs> depend on them. Like when it's like a snowstorm, when it's Christmas, you can always depend mm-hmm. on them. When it's a pandemic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were. Serving. They were. They're open. They was open. Yeah. Cold only was open. <laughs> shit was hating though. Shit was busting. That little it MSG cat. You, you throw a little barbecue sauce on the MSG cat. Fun fact: shit. MSG is not that bad. It was just racism that made everybody think MSG was bad. It's literally like salt. Wait, literally. Wait, can you break this down for me? I've um, been running from MSG all my life. No, it's it was not bad. like an especially bad. Well, I won't go super into it because we yeah. need like to get to Alex's topic. But like, <laughs> literally, the way that they framed MSG was because like racism against like Chinese people back in the day, and they made you think it was like the, like poison. But it's literally just another seasoning. It's literally just another seasoning. The Need to Know podcast. Period. What you need to know when you need to know on Google the it, goddamn everybody. Need to Know podcast. I want you to know I've been using that as my uh oh shit. I can't have this right now because it got too much it, MSG. It M- my dumbass. My dumbass. It's I'm fine. thinking to myself the whole time, MSG is probably just salt, right? Right? It's what? not literally salt, but it's literally just another seasoning. I thought it was like salty salt. That's why you gotta just do <laughs> I mean, what you love. Just do what you and love. Eat what you want to eat. Do what you want to do. Like, but, but what about when you're watching your figures? Shit, shit all be a lie. Shit all be a lie. Where? All be a lie. Mm-hmm. Right, but back well, to your, I, want, your I, was, restaurant. I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, yeah, I wanna know if you're gonna tell me the truth or a lie on this one. So a lovely couple at the Thai restaurant. And Aww. yeah, they were beautiful. They were beautiful. Who's you with? Huh? Yeah, I, I was just I was about to ask <laughs> Dolo. Thank you. Dolo. Dolo. And y'all, never, y'all don't do solo dates in here? That's a I love, yo, I I'm love, I actually don't like <laughs> when people it? ask to like come eat with me at my lunch break. I really? hate it. Oh, on my lunch break? Yeah, I'm not a fan of that either. I'm like, can I you? I like my lunch break for me. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> me? Only Armand. Only Armand, you know, <laughs> we kept, we love to catch up, but only him because I actually know him in real life. Yeah. Like, everybody else, Armand. I love just sitting by myself. Like, same, same. Yeah. Why can't I be like Reggie and enjoy sitting by myself? All right, you took yourself out to go to a Thai restaurant. Yeah, I'm you trying. see a lovely couple. It's a mm-hmm. lovely couple, right? Lovely couple. And one thing I noticed, now, internally, I, I battled, I struggled with this because I was like, damn. 
am I what I was looking at, right? I didn't know if I was genuinely mad at what I was looking at or just confused. See, many of us have been to restaurants and for the most part, most people sit across from each other, right? Mm -hmm. And there's, sure. a, there's a table in between the both of y'all. Sometimes. This lovely couple was sitting right next to each other. And then I looked, to, I thought to myself, I said, fucking obsessed. <laughs> like, what the fuck are they doing? I think that's weird. I think it's a little awkward. Am I wrong for it? Yes. Am I judging them? Pierre, yes. Pierre got my yeah. back. Yeah. The, the real yeah. lovers know yeah. you sit next to your man at the restaurant because it just feels, it just feels like so that, good. That companionship, you, could get, you get to feel their warmth a little bit. Yes. I think y'all agree. See the real lovers. Nah, I think y'all agree. The real lovers are speaking right now. The real lovers? Yes. If we all, I'm no, a real hater. hater. <laughs> or, like, I'm we, a real hater. <laughs> why does that it feels it's cute. What? I know. I know it looks weird, but yeah. it, it like like sometimes you do. It, it feels I, nice. I've done it before. It feels weird at first, but then you just get used to it. Like yo, all right. This is my thing with it, right? Mm -hmm. I think you guys are greedy. <laughs> what? Explain. You're supposed to build some of that sexual tension up with the table or being the only thing that's blocking y'all. <laughs> When you're oh, right wait, next you, to okay, yeah, you, okay, when you're right next to each other, I yeah. get the tansy handsy, the touchy oh, wait, wait, touchy. Are you talking about like a wait first a date or with my boyfriend? That's very different. Both. Keep it spicy. Oh my gosh. Put a table in between the both of y'all. You little horny asses. Cause when I seen a couple, they 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 touching underneath the table. <laughs> hey. Hey, my dumb ass go look under. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so what's going on under there? See, no. the, see the pair of dirty air forces yes. and yeah, some nah. fingers. I you can't can, do that. You can, I can't do that. You can do it to be freaky under the table, but also that's not the only reason why you sit next to your man at the table. It just feels cute. It just feels. But what about your neck? Like you don't be getting. You a, don't feel like a, 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 a loser, <laughs> nah. huh? Y'all don't no. feel like losers. Not at all. I never done it. Why? No, no, not you. I don't no. know. Like I feel like that's that's kind of <laughs> late. Like who how? offers to sit? How who initiates that? that? How is that loserish? But, I want right. I want us to think yeah, critically. That's... Like me sitting next to my man, how does that make me a loser? Like, like, like please, please. 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 Go no. to a park and eat on a bench if y'all want to sit next to each other. No, and eat. Like, there's a seat next to me. He can sit next to me. That does not change it. All right, all right. Is it a booth or is it like chairs? Booth would be ideal. Okay. All right. I, no, I, don't, okay. I think if it was just chairs, I think I don't think we would do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it has, has to be a booth. booth. It has, it to, has be to be a booth. Oh, so yeah, there are rules to this. Like at the club, if you guys are in a section, you're literally sitting next to each other. What's the difference? But it's different because we're eating. We're supposed to be like having conversation, looking at each other. I can look at him next to me. And also, one of us got to watch <laughs> each other's back. Nah, but if you, right? if, you like, both, if you both put your backs towards the wall and you're sitting on the same side, y'all both safe. Yeah, like what? That's four eyes instead of two. That's immediately out. what I thought about Pierre. Thank you. you know like, I mean? but what about your neck? Like, y'all don't get a little crick in your neck. No, looking to the left, like this. Hey, 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 like, is, dude, you have to be mad dramatic right now. That's crazy. And what if I want to text? <laughs> Right. What if I want to cheat? Like, what if I want to get... Like, what if I'm trying to talk to my other joint? What if I want to get my piece. shit off real quick? Like, Let me cheat No, please. I just want to text. It has I feel like the cheat. No, I, am. no I, I, get the, I get the point. Like, definitely, yeah. normally, you should sit across. I, I, I get it. I'm just I joking. I think it just add, you know, having a table in between the two of y'all where you guys are it directly like looking date. at each other. It feels like a date. It feels yeah, like yeah. a date, but it just feels like, all right, there's something blocking us. And we're, we're churning this connection as we speak with each other, looking at each other's eyes, just straight on, dead eye, you know? You kind of build that tension up. Intensity. Yeah, because uh -huh. you know the table is the only thing in between the two of y'all. Maybe we got to some like different stipulations. Like, if we're in a relationship, I right, yeah. maybe I could understand it a little bit more. If we're still getting like to know comfort. each other, it's, like, though, uh, it's yeah. like, nah, man, we can't. No, do that's that. why I asked. Yeah. I fully agree with you on a regular, like, especially in the early stages. Yeah, we sit across. And only a woman can, like, initiate that. Yeah, facts. On the first date, that's crazy. A man, no, no, a man can initiate date. that under no circumstance. I think we all agree on the first date. Yeah, sit across from each other. Yeah. It feels good. You know, it's a, it's a date, it's a normal okay. date. Oh. But then once he's like your man for like a year, literally like if he sits next to me, it feels. I nice. guess that. I, I guess that me. I don't know. Oh no! Okay, I remember one time why we did this. We were at a sports bar and the TV was here, and okay. we just both sat and watched the game. So okay, that's fair. See, there's a that's reason, fair. and it felt nice. We were I talking, laughing, like never done that. I must be a selfish asshole. What you mean? Because one of us is just not gonna watch TV that night. <laughs> Why can't crazy. both of you just yeah, you. sit on? Oh <laughs> no, it's not even about it's gonna be you. It's <laughs> plenty of times it has been me. Like I have, I've been looking like pissed off. But nah, like nah, we can't do that. What? Can we? I don't know. Maybe I got. Why is it so weird? I don't you, gotta, you gotta try it. You I don't. Try it. Right, Pierre? It's weird. You know what it is? I'm thinking about I'm y'all. Stereotype. Because... I'm going to tell y'all really what okay. it is. What's up? I grew up in a community. There's a lot of Spanish <laughs> people where I live. Okay. And that's one of the things we used to make fun of them niggas for, right? We would walk in a restaurant <laughs> oh, and Spanish but you know what's crazy? sit next to each other. And I'd be like, but you know Yo, what's what crazy? the fuck? Reggie did say it. The it's, real lovers. They are the real lovers. Period. Yeah, yeah. They mm -hmm. are the real... Me, I'm more. 
Yes. They are the real All right, so maybe you're right. lovers. You might maybe be on the right. summer. Right. Yeah. Right. Damn, I'm a real that, hater. I didn't want to be judged. Nah, you I guys, didn't want to be judged. That's all it was. I feel but it. also, like, I feel it. let's ask, like, who is judging yeah. you? Like, who cares? I'm thinking like, about your neck health. That that that's that's what I'm more concerned about. You gotta try it first. Like, like, you're like saying like this the whole time. Like it's like mm. women, like <laughs> women are so the, y'all are so greedy too. Word? Like that just make it easier for y'all to pick off my plate and shit. Like I asked you 18 <laughs> times, hey yo, babe, do you want this appetizer? Like I'm really thinking about getting. You sure? Hungry, you sure you don't hungry. want the dumplings? I got hungry, the dumplings with the soy sauce yeah. this time. I could have got the spicy mayo, but you didn't want that, right? You did not want that. <laughs> but if I'm sitting next to you, just dipping your hands in my shit, like nah, bro. There's I've trained trick. my brain. There's a trick to it. There's a trick. I'm listening, but Peter. Go ahead, Alex. I'll, I'll go after. You. Okay, I've trained my brain not to be hungry when I go out on dates. <laughs> what? Like I'm like, bro, <laughs> hear me out. So you just hear me out. No, 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 no. Guys, if you know, no, no hungry. He's just horny. He's not joking. I'm not joking. I'll order the plate too. Nine times out of ten, those is going is to go. Till this day, I have yet to see Alex eat. Literally, no, guys. Literally, we're not. You never know. Here. Yo, so the trick. You don't really is, like y'all. That's why. <laughs> what the I fuck out of here? Wait, hold on, hold on. Right, right before you go up here, like, okay, but Alex, but if you take it hey, to go, you're like carrying the to go plate the rest of the night. I got, mm-hmm. I got a little caught. <laughs> oh, you want you want that one? Okay, okay, okay. I got, I got okay. A little, okay, yes, I got Pierre, a Pierre, 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 yeah, right? which is what you do. You got to know your significant other enough to like understand or realize what they don't like. Right. Right. So if you know they don't like a certain item, that's the that's the item you you order uh, to eat. Oh you, you know my god! You want to some, yo? I know I'm what it you. is. You want to some? I'm so far gone. That's the problem. Shout out to Drake. We'll get into him later. I haven't been in a situation where I know somebody's likes and dislikes, so I can't relate. That's crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? It's been that long. No, no, because no, definitely not. when so, you when, when you're dating? dating, no, when dating someone, definitely knowing what they would likely order is like definitely a thing. Like you learn, like oh, he's definitely gonna order like the steak. That, that's what I'm trying. So you to don't tell learn. You. I haven't dated. <laughs> yes, you nah, have. Yes, you have. Save on. You, you, you don't bro, learn. All the lying you do no, up here on me, bro. It's I'm been a long, bro. It's been it's been a while. I'm trying to think about the last time I went on a date. I looked Save at somebody on. and said, "Save on, look at me, look at me." I swear on everything. At you, Audio bro. listeners, I'm sorry. Go on YouTube. Look at me. Alex loves eye it's contact. It's me. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Oh. Look at me one more time. You're it's me. It I'm telling you. I know. Ready to the right. We so can be you, honest. I, I'm that's here. what I'm telling I'm you. And, and, and that's what I'm trying. The last time I looked at a woman and said, "You never been on a pizza date." I know exactly what she wants. You never been on a pizza date before? But pizza, everybody like pizza. And you know what it is. You don't. Like I'm it. talking about specifics to you a know, restaurant. I, I don't know somebody's likes and dislikes in that way. I haven't right. in, a, in a while. Even if they so, told you. So Even if they that, told you, tell them. When y'all are talking about like this whole dating shit, I'm like, damn, why can't I relate to these moms? <laughs> oh my God. Like, oh, I get it, bro. I get it, bro. Put that on everything. You got to know your role. You, you got to know your love. place in life. You need wait, some wait, love. Wait, what if you've been dating her for like two, three months? Right. You, uh-huh. you would know. I feel like you would know if we go out like, oh, she typically orders this. Like this I'm is like her favorite drink. I'm still trying to get drink. to know her trauma. <sighs> what? Like I'm not worried. Wait, about Simone does everything hold on, hold on, hold on. backwards. Y'all no, discussing no. trauma in no, the no. first three months, and you don't know explain. her drink order. Facts. Explain. Explain. Explain why the trauma first. You I'm not it? mad at this. I just want to understand it, bro. I need. <laughs> I need you to understand how I tick, and I want to understand how you tick. Like right up front. Yeah. I mean, with three months is ninety days. I feel we probably that. fucked no. about eighteen thousand times without a condom by that point. So yeah, I, I need to know what the fuck. Duh, like y'all, y'all so like oh, yeah. Shit. I want to know why yeah. you are, why how you are, and I want you to understand me mm-hmm. a little bit. And so I want to know, you know, how you taking. Like, I don't need to know your trauma, but I need to know like what made you this way. But also, and how the little things matter. Here? The little things they do matter. They yes. do matter. Like noticing, you know, her favorite like cookie and you're like you know yeah i would love to get to that <laughs> point see that's when it gets real for me <laughs> oh like caring when that I, much when okay, i know okay, your okay, favorite okay. like pizza topping or like your favorite <gasps> oh, cookie yeah. that's when i'm like oh shit i'm so, here so you've been but there if before. i know that like mm-hmm. you know you've been there before what tell him in love <gasps> i never said i wasn't I yeah, just so said you I, came, it came across as that. As that. No, nah, he said it's been a while. I, I think recently. I think he yeah, needs I recently. said this has been a minute since so I've been yeah. in that stage. So then that's that that ability is still there. You just don't want to. Tap I just in. haven't uh, tapped in. Yo, no, this turned into like a therapy session. You just don't want to. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Guys, crazy. Real lovers versus the real haters. No, literally, I did not let you guys shame me in this topic. No, I will sit next. I will sit next to my man. The real lovers win. And literally, when we order dinner for each other, like he doesn't even ask what I want. I don't ask what he wants. We just order for each other. We will get. We will all get there as a pod one day, guys. And for me, I just think y'all are too horny. But let's get back to it. So you just leave the house bricked up. What? No, no appetite. <laughs> Who said that? You said you go oh. to dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I train. I train myself to only have appetite. She's a brick. I train. Ow. I train myself to only have appetite for her thoughts. Wait, 
Why? All right. <laughs> and them thoughts go lead where? What you mean? Hopefully. Uh, various places, depending on, you know what I mean? Wait, but, Alex, why don't you want to eat an entree? I'm just going no, horny. You know what it is? It's where I put my energy. No, it's not true. <laughs> it's where I put my focus and my energy at. Real talk. So when I know I'm going on a date or something like that, my main objective is, is not, isn't, is oh my God, I got to get the penny ala vodka and I got to get the appetite. I'll get all of it though. Like we going to bowl. <laughs> Whole table going to be full. No, he's like, I'm going to eat it alone at home. Whole table going to be full of tappas. But you're not going to eat it, you know what I mean? though. We're not going to... She could go crazy, This though. is so interesting. I love me. when she go crazy. Uh-huh. Eat that food, girl. She, if she go crazy, that, does that mean she's an eater? And you don't know. Really? But at yeah. least she could eat in front of you. I like that. For the, me, the, though, the, I just be too invested into the conversation the, and shit like the that. The girls that can eat... I don't eat. be hungry. Yeah, they, they can eat. They can yeah. eat. The girls that no, can eat, they eat it. For real. Nah, for real. I'm trying to think. It be, it be like that. Yeah. Like on I mean, the first day, she orders like lamb chops what, and shit. Whatever they eat, why, they say, eat. Say, yeah. why, why you look like you just had a flashback? <laughs> Looked in the sky, right? Flat, you seen him. His eyes rolled behind his head and all yeah. that. It was good. <laughs> like he Welcome to the Need to Know Podcast, ladies oh. and gentlemen. I go by the name of Savon. This is another episode. Thank y'all for coming back, returning. If you're new, I know a lot of people fuck with us. A lot of people don't fuck with us, and that is okay. Salute. <laughs> My name is Savon. Yeah, yeah. What up, y'all? It's your boy, A, as always. The Paco Rabon Poppy. Never alone. I'm always with the posse. And hello, guys. My name is Reggie. And today, I have a very special shout out to the baddies that listen to the pod. The fashion baddies, because I'm wearing a shirt today. Shout out to Zen Basketball Studios. I hey. think that's their Instagram. She sent me this shirt. Look at this shirt. That is so oh. fun. Look, it's like all oh. like the R&B women. That's oh, amazing. We got, like, that's Sade. I see Sade. Yes, I see we got oh, Leah. Oh, we got oh. Lauren Hill. Shout out. And then also today on our Kalees. picture... Yeah, oh, <laughs> on yeah, our picture know. with Eden, another baddie hit me up and was like, oh my God, you're wearing my jacket. So shout out to all the baddies yes. that listen to the pod and are killing shit in the fashion world. That makes me so happy that, that the fashion PSA. baddies listen to Need to Know. Right? That's a cool, And yes. be some bummy pods out there. Period. I'm so glad that the fashion baddies tap in. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's shout out flex. to y'all, man. Salute. Yes. <sighs> Why are you looking like that? What? Is he still having his flashback? Yeah, no, 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 no. He was having his flashback. Literally. Like, over here, Savon. He just, oh, he just came back to consciousness. I forget this is like audio sometimes. No, because she was talking about like she was giving a shout out to people. Yeah. And I, I, I appreciate the people who show love. Like, I was thinking. Right. So, y'all know I do two podcasts. Um, also, shout out to the Can't Afford Therapy podcast. We are nominated for a Webby Award. What the Please heck? make sure y'all go. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Salute to Can't yeah. Afford Therapy. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank y'all. We appreciate that. Um, you guys better win. You guys better win. Wait, what category? Like, what? Um, indie. Indie podcast, right. independent podcast, one hundred percent independent. Shout out to Mandy. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Antoinette. That? Shout out to Josh. It was just announced it today. So oh, oh, okay. very, very new. Right. Uh, Recognition is very, you know, it feels good. Yeah. It is. It, it does. does. It, does. it does. does. So please make sure y'all go over there. Vote, yeah. vote. Can't afford therapy. That's a dope thing. But in conjunction with, I have noticed something, and I don't know how to feel about it, but I do know how to feel about it because I am guilty of it as well. Right. What's that? Which is, ladies. They show support in a way that men just don't. I literally just talked about this this morning. Was, like, even like on Instagram, yeah. the girls will like 50 comments like, oh, my God, girl, oh, my God, my God, slip my throat. You're so hot. And men barely, if anything, just like, will like. guess. You, you just started realizing it. That's why I shouted out the fashion baddies that pay that. They support. I want to highlight you. them. I want to highlight yeah. the ladies for sure because yeah. the difference in, 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 I don't know how to. Y'all make it known, women, when they fuck with you. Like, yes. th there's no ego in showing support, right? I look at the numbers on all the different podcasts that I'm working on. Like, oh my God, we're doing great here. We're doing good here. We're doing that, right? The Can't Afford Therapy podcast. Now, Antoinette, she has a massive following and she has a lot of female, a lot of mm -hmm. women support, a lot of women empowerment going on over there. Fire. Salute to that. So I get all of the notifications when we post on the Can't Afford Therapy social media page, right? Yeah. Now, granted, both these podcasts are doing extremely well. I look at the numbers because sometimes I'm like, wait, the Can't Afford Therapy podcast, and, I'm, and this is a challenge to the need to know listeners. This is, this is no challenging them. The Can't Afford Therapy podcast, I go each and pretty much every post or in the comments or in the DMs, they are very vocal. That's the word I was looking for. Ladies, the ladies are very, very vocal, right? Yeah. Large demographic over there. I come over to the Need to Know podcast. It's like these niggas just be too cool to show love. The men? Yeah, I have noticed men, this. Men are just yeah. too cool to show love. Yeah. But very bold to show hate. Mm -hmm. Men will show love when they're a stand of you. Okay. Like when they really, really like, like they'll comment, I, I comment. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. Because they, they have to be I know who's listening. Fan like, nigga, mm -hmm. I know you listening right now. Mm -hmm. I know you listen. And I know you've been listening. Hold up, real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you've been listening for a very, very long time. <laughs> you don't even miss a week. And if we miss a week, you mad at me. But 
you will never tell me. Get on them. Hmm. And I'm trying to go deeper. <laughs> what do you think it is? Like, what are you? I'm just trying to go deeper with our people. Women are That's just it. amazing. Women... I don't. I don't know what it. But I also mm. do know what it is because I'm a fan of certain podcasts, and mm. you would never ever know Re- like, because yeah. I'm never vocalizing it. Uh-huh. So, fellas, are you it. guilty of it too? I'm guilty of it. Yeah. Too. I don't That's know if it's thing. the. I do agree. It's the too coolness. Like, pff, I'm not about to fucking comment and let them know. But I think a little bit of it is like. Maybe they're not too cool, but they're just not in the habit of mm-hmm. like commenting, like throwing a like up, and like girls will literally comment. Like if I my friend posts a picture, and I don't comment. I feel like I was like, no, I should comment. Like she looks so pretty, like whatever. Whoa. Boom, yeah. throw a comment up, and guys just aren't like they're just less likely to regularly do that. I feel like you know it doesn't mean they're too cool or they're low key hating, but just amongst each other, you guys don't really like. You, you know, know what does it for me? If I post something and like somebody that I'm friends with has commented on my um, post before. I'll comment on theirs. Like if I see them post, I'll probably comment on theirs. Like, oh, he showed mm. love on my post. That's yeah. calculated that's, love. Yeah, that's that's male ego. No, that's like a tip for tag no, no, thing. On the, on the other side of that, all I do is just hit the like. But that doesn't mean I dislike or don't like it. I mean, that doesn't mean I feel any other type of way towards them. Nah, you're right. I don't think you have feel a way towards them. Men are truly programmed this way. And I'm not yeah. even saying like mm-hmm. friend to friend. I think friend to friend is a little bit different than saying, yo, I am a fan of your work. Like a I'm a fan, fan of what yeah. it is that you do. Like mm-hmm. I rock with you, but mm-hmm. I don't vocalize it. Yeah. You know and what this saying? is not just in the podcast industry. We see this all the time in music. Well, how shout- do y'all think? Mm-hmm. Oh, my fault. No, you good. Shout out to um, Cash Cobain. Shout oh out God. to Chow Lee. Shout out to Lonnie Love. When I interviewed Chow and Lonnie two, three years ago, one of the things I said to them was like, yo, yeah. I got the Chico. Y'all got women. Mm-hmm. Right? Yo, women yes. are want to buy the, the tickets. Women mm-hmm. want to buy the merch. Women want to show up for you. Women mm-hmm. even want to casually support. Mm-hmm. Men ain't got to feel like Pierre, so they got to feel some sort of investment to you. Like, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. He the like, homie do you from me. Like, yeah, do you support me? Yeah. And I don't blame him for that because he's which right. Most valid, men are just valid, like that. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, I really think that's why Beyonce still is like doing her thing. What you mean? Because of her hive? Because the women. The women it, show. It's the women. So oh, 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 Be- oh Beyonce, the hive. Beyonce's core. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? In my opinion, are women. Specifically, for the most part, black women, for the most mm-hmm. part, and gay men, mm-hmm. like, like a majority of her though, family. Though, mm-hmm. That is her base. That is who she feeds. That is who pours into her, and she pours into them. And it's just a match made in heaven, right? Which mm-hmm. is why every time she drops, which is why anytime she does anything, there's like an outcry, right? Like the, the, it's it's such a massive announcement whenever she does anything because women vocalize their support in a much different type of way even with this metro on future shit right like mm-hmm. yeah a lot of people are vocalizing it because it has some elements to it that maybe we weren't prepared for mm-hmm. but i don't see the metro or the future like stands like I, it's just a different way of showing men, love men also get teased for being stands of uh of the people they support oh, think about it are. right like men get judged all the time. It's literally like I don't want to oh, seem like a stand. Let me not right. even fucking say anything. And even with yeah. this whole Drake Metro shit, like you seen a lot of people like you a dick rider. Yeah, Yo, stop dick riding Cole. Yo, Yo stop dick riding Drake. Literally, you feel what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, 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 like dudes get made they fun of. They say one it. thing or one breakdown of like, oh, Cole's bar meant this, yeah. and then they're like, Yo, stop fucking dick riding. This nigga, this nigga Damn. dick riding. Okay, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Oh, y'all niggas getting Diddy excited. <laughs> oh my god! You talking on this dick ride? Like, relax, my yeah. nigga. But relax. also, like women, too, the whole what Savon was saying about like yeah. Beyonce and her power and stuff. I was watching a pod like yesterday. The the buying power that women have mm-hmm. and that like moms, like older women have, is like absolutely just like Insane. unimaginable, like unsafe, it is. unsafe it is. type shit. No, like, because every time Beyonce drops an album over the last few years, I keep thinking to myself, well, how? What you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> wait, what do you, wait, what do you mean? Like, how does she have the audience to release it to? Wait, what do you what? mean? <laughs> yeah, like, I'm confused. Not... She has the talent to do no, it. Let's, let's break that no, down. No, talent, talent is undeniable, yeah. undisputable. Yeah. <laughs> but how? How what? Or why? Why what, Savon? Who, what, when, why, where? Like, we could just go down all of the <laughs> W's and the 1H. The reporter questions. But just, 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 why do we still care? What are you talking about? Wait, Why wait, do wait. we still care about Let, LeBron James? Let's entertain this. Because we're witnessing somebody who is an, an elder statesman in their industry continue to do things at a high level. Okay. Wait, are you saying why do we still care about Beyonce's music? Yeah, facts. I could tell you for me. That so, music that music been made for a long time. Pierre, and please take it away now, before I start. So, so this is my this <laughs> is my perspective, right? We're gonna get oh, back to what shit. he just said, but this is my perspective. <laughs> Every time Beyonce drops, she kind of takes on a new form. So I'm kind of interested into like, okay, I wonder what her form is now. Did we all hear the album? Yeah. Yeah, yes. we all heard the album. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, but no, hold on. We just, 
Where did this start for you? It's, it's, <laughs> like, this I'm, is, I'm so confused let's right literally now. Delve in because this is not okay. I can't hold Simon, it. I can't hold it. And I'm not even trying Simon, to. Like, I do not respect your opinion. Join the rest of the internet. I'm kidding. I do. No, no, no. Don't kid. No, it's fine. You don't got respect. I get it. Yeah. I'm kidding. I feel like when you are great and you have the the resources that Beyonce has, it's always going to sound top top quality it's always going to sound pristine it's always going to be you're, you're going to get the best of the best you're going to get the best engineers the best producers okay. the best make you're going to get the best of the best when you're there right yeah that's what i believe or oh, that's what we know to be true but for whatever reason and again i just spoke about her demographic maybe her de i'm not a part of her demographic so whatever she's putting out into the world is just going over my head because i'm not really looking for it <laughs> I would nor argue, does it feed me i would argue that her demographic doesn't like all of the pivoting she's done in terms of genres, but mm -hmm. they still support. So I don't think that's the thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I could see that. And again, I'm probably going to get killed for this, but I feel like the music just doesn't, it doesn't seem inspired. Like nothing about her seems inspiring anymore. I was looking at some old Beyonce um, interviews, even her personality. She seems very dis. She, this is just weird. And I feel like we don't acknowledge it. I, I don't even, and as a fan, cause we're just fans, I don't even recognize who she is anymore. From what I was introduced to, from what I known, and to see where she is today, like it sounds. This it's, shit is mid, and nobody's nah, saying it because it's Beyonce. I, I, it's not I'm mid. Just, I'm just it's, letting it's, it finish. It's, it's not mid because by your definition, you just told me what it takes to make the quality of albums that she makes. I think what I'm hearing from you, bro, is you're kind of disgruntled that she's gone away from R and B music. You miss like her Destiny's Child. Yeah, like is it is it that because which we... is fine if, if because <laughs> if that was like your favorite Beyonce era, that's fine. But I think it is very, 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 very like you couldn't be more wrong of like she like the music that she's making nowadays is not inspired. I feel like it is the complete opposite. She's more inspired than ever than before. Than ever before. The message is so much deeper. The reason why she's doing Renaissance, the house music, and now the country music, and people think she, the next era is gonna be rock music because. She's literally like throwing it back to like, hey, black people created these genres. Mm -hmm. We're reclaiming it. And I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the biggest people. Like I'm going to put everything I have into these three chapters. So I think like literally the message is stronger than ever. I do think she's very, very inspired. In my, opi in my opinion. No, and, and you, again, I think uh, maybe uninspired. It, she just doesn't feel genuine anymore. But what, it what just, do you, it just, you think nothing, she's just doing it because it just doesn't feel nothing about what? her feels genuine to me anymore. When okay. did when did things I'm sorry, Peter. When did things feel genuine? When was the last time? Do y'all see her cover art? Do y'all see yeah. this album art? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a country album. Like I'm confused. Like, she's, like, with she's, she's, black I don't background. know. Am I missing am I she's missing a, a message? You know she's from <laughs> wait, you know she's from Texas, this, right? Of course I know she's from Texas. Okay, it, so what's what's confusing you? <laughs> She's on a horse. She's got the flag in her hand. She's defying gravity with how she's sitting on this horse. Oh my god! Yo. What the fuck that got to do with the <laughs> inspiration of the she music? Looks, she looks like a doll. If you look, she looks like a doll. It doesn't. She doesn't look like mm -hmm. a person. Like, okay, I'm listening. This shit is so manufactured. That's maybe but what it is. She's always been it's manufactured. Just, no. Okay, you know what, Savon? I kind of, I kind of see like it's, what you're saying. Okay, it's I see really what you're saying. Strange. All right, cool. It's so I need really you to speak strange. specifically. And then, and then I, I hate to even be yeah. this person. Oh, I, just mark this. Oh gosh, like, bro, she looks like she's her skin is getting lighter. They've spoken oh, about that. Oh my gosh, they've spoken about that. She looks like she's even doing something to change her physical but, appearance but there, in that okay, way. Like, but there are some the cosmetics. All, it just looks like somebody is painting her and putting her together every day. She's coming out. Like she's robotic, robotic kind of? It's so, yes. Mean, it's so robotic and manufactured. Okay. Like, I'm disconnected from what I know her greatness to be. When was the okay. last time she wasn't manufactured to you? And I'll, go through, I'll go through the albums for you because oh. I'm really trying to understand where you're coming from. Probably Lemonade. Lemon yeah, I was going to say, because okay. that was her. Starting Probably at Lemonade or after Lemonade? No, everything Lemonade and before Beyonce. You're like that's her, that's her. Okay, okay. Everything after Lemonade, I'm like, I who who is this? Mm -hmm. So I'm I, yeah, it does sound like you don't you don't like the different genres. And it's bro. not even necessarily the genre. The Lion genres. King album was more uh, Afro beat take on things. No, nah, he's talking about her aesthetic too. All of it. I, it's not just the just music. everything she's doing. I think it's her. All I think right. it's the presentation. I think it's the the way she shows up. I think it's the way that Hove tried to be a freedom fighter for at the Grammys. At like, the oh, Grammy my woman never won the album. Money. Who gives a fuck? Uh, the, the reason why it's just a little confusing to me is because 
a ton of money has always been put behind Beyonce. Yeah. Uh, her rollouts have always looked manufactured. Um, she always has a new concept, even when she was making R&B on how she wants to deliver the concept, etc. Now, like I said, the genres have changed over the last few albums, which might, you know, might give credence to what you're saying. Like, yo, things just feel a little bit different. What is it different? But mm-hmm. every all resources have always been put behind her for anything she does. So I'm. The only thing that's changed in me is the genres. Are you saying like maybe a little too calculated and too polished now? I don't know what that means. That's, Which, that's, that's her and okay, Jay-Z. You know, you're not wrong, <laughs> but it's because she's literally 40-something right now. Right. She's at the top of her career, the queen with all the resources in the world. She's not literally like, you know, on, on a label trying to prove herself anymore. Like she <laughs> she's in charge. But I, I do see what you're saying, Zayman. Like I was kidding when I said like, oh my God, you're so wrong. Like, but... I don't know. It's just she's very she's at the most polished she's ever been in her career, and I feel like I think, she has to be now. I think Savon might also be talking about he wants to see more from her, right? Like, but what else? Like, 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 like personality. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Seeing her kind of like unmasked, human in a sense. Human. Okay. 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 Like, we have a different conversation now. I, I can yeah, see. No it's, it's, it's all encompassing what no I'm way. speaking to. I, Beyonce has just, never been on her Instagram. Beyonce has I'm never. Her to be Beyonce on has never done a bunch of interviews. I'm just trying to say. I want you to speak to a time where she was in our face, being mm-hmm. natural. The Beyonce mm-hmm. I know so, is yo that superstar status. She over there and she pop out when it's time. So, you, Alex, you're saying how can <laughs> Savon ask or? Be requesting that if he's never seen it. That's what I'm. No, maybe that's not true maybe she can't anymore because she can't exactly be out here just being human with her family either. It's scary because she's literally the biggest star in the entire world. So like at all times she has to have high security, be locked away in her house. Like it's very isolating. So maybe we can't see that human side of her. But she kind of does let us see it with these documentaries and shit like that. She does let us in. And there are some high level artists where mm-hmm. we get this so uh, we get to interact with them on social media, mm-hmm. the Drakes of the world, right? She's never been that type of person to that's just true. have all her shit out there. That's why I'm just a little bit confused. That doesn't mean he can't want more. Save on the, I just don't. But, but I, what I, is I, it that again, you haven't seen? I just think how this yeah. this chapter, this phase, whatever, right. the last however many years, it just seems very manufactured, and it just I I don't I I don't recognize it anymore. Like she's a completely different person outside of just like the voice and the you talent. Know <laughs> I did. <laughs> and also, judging, you know, Sasha Fish? Passing, judging like, her that we fell in love with her at like age twenty, and judging her as a mom of three at forty two is not fair. Like she's right. she is a completely different person. Right. But, but what Savon is saying, like I, a lot of people agree with you because this has pretty much been the biggest critique she gets throughout her career. Like, oh, we don't know it's like you. Too polished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, bro, I've it's never like even too seen strategic. I've it's never like even too polished. It's like that's too, a that's a Virgo too, queen right it's like there. Too perfect. It's, is that it, not how her and Jay Z move? No, Hove. I don't think Hove. I think Hove is a lot more human. I think Hove yeah, presents it, himself to be a lot more human and in touch. But he's with, shown us that before, right? I'm I'm still asking, when was the era in time when she showed us where she was as human or can be as human as her, her nah, husband has? Nah, I he, haven't seen it. He, I've always known Beyonce to be like, that. yo, I don't hear a peep from Beyonce. Nah, he could, when she, he, huh? he, Savon could want that without her ever displaying it. Okay, then say that, but don't say something has changed. Because for me, this is how I've always perceived Beyonce. Mm-hmm. I've never. She does, she's never done. Yeah, a bunch fans of have always said this. Like, yo, we don't really know you. Yeah, they've I, always said. If this. If there was a time, which is where, valid, like, yeah. If she and, was on IG live before, <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, and then like she stopped interacting with her fans on social mm-hmm. media and things of that nature. I would totally get. It. Didn't wasn't she one of the last ones to the party with a with an Instagram yeah. account? Yeah, and Jay Z, yeah. right? So, and, uh, and it's it's. I think what Savon is also saying, um, you know, similar to what Reggie said, you know, fans out there, uh, her fans out there have said, hey, like, we don't really know you. Mm-hmm. And Savon saying, okay, since that is a fact, like, how does this still work for her? Okay. I'm not mad at anyone saying that they would want more uh, out of their artists. Again, we had this conversation when uh, Drake put out his album, though, right? Some artists of a certain magnitude, you're just not going to get certain things out of them, right? It, mm-hmm. Just depending on the how- The magnitude is just too big. It's, like... it's too much shit at play for them, right? Like you said, though, things might be too organized mm-hmm. and too detailed, but because things are so detailed, you're not going to get what you want out of them, right? Yeah. So. I get that, but what about the album though? So you don't, you didn't like that. All right, well, let me speak. I think the album was good. Oh, so oh whoa. So yeah, like, yeah, we got a little fun. <laughs> I, think the album, I think the album was good, but I think two things can be true. I think the yeah, album yeah. can be good, yeah. but I think she as a person can be a robot. Mm-hmm. Well, howdy, I'm putting on my cow boots. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you about this album right here, man. Look, if it was about 27 songs, 
I felt I wish it was eighteen. That's very like, long. Yeah, yeah, super long. I feel like at eighteen, the album would have been perfect. Some real standouts to me on this album. Again, I'm not a big country fan. Uh, a few episodes ago, I said uh, I didn't realize that I did. It's not that I hated country. It's just Beyonce wasn't making it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sixteen Carriages. Uh, what's the other one she put out? It was uh, Texas, Texas Hold'em. Hold I like Sixteen Carriages more than Texas Hold'em. Salute to y'all though. Uh, standouts on the album for me: the Miley Cyrus record. Mm-hmm. I could I could hear that played anywhere. That guitar that they got strung on that motherfucker is beautiful. Which one? So, yeah. Oh my god, I should know this, but what's the, what's the one that was like bounce on the shit? Damn, but I forgot the name. Oh it's twenty seven songs. People yeah, are gonna kill me that I don't know the title. And them shit's yeah. mad unforgettable, right? Nah, hell, I'm literally telling you the <laughs> oh, song. Oh no, no, my fault. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm telling you the songs I remember. What do you mean? I like the Miley Cyrus song, which like, is called uh, "I uh, Two Most Wanted." I like Levi Jeans with Post Malone. Spaghetti was fire. Spaghetti was fire she with Shabuzi. Shabuzi. Shabuzi, yeah. Shout Yo, out to Shabuzi. Talk Shab- about him real quick. Talk about you know about Shabuzi. I do. Yo, he's a he's a black countryman. Yes, right? he is. And um, he's got a bunch of well, two real notable tracks out. I forget one of the names of them, but uh, he's like more of an acoustic, um, like singer songwriter. Yeah, type mm-hmm. of style, type of artist. But it was dope that phenomenal. it was dope that she kind of featured him on the album as well. Yeah, right. That was super amazing. Uh, I like Protector. I like Blackbird. I like Bodyguard. I like Jolene, which is the flip on the Dolly Parton record. Facts. You know, I, I think Jolene was super. For the most part, again, I'm not a country lover, but this was digestible for me. You know what it is for me too? Yeah. I like our spin on certain things. Like black black. How artists, we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Like she I've was rapping heard, on one of those records. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I've never heard Jolene spun that way. And then you know, I was like, oh, this is fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And in the original, Dolly Parton was basically begging Jolene to like like stop she was being more like in that tone but yeah. Beyonce flipped it and was like don't fuck with my man because you don't want to do that exactly like, yeah. fuck out of here get so she did kind of flip it yeah. I like Yaya because she went like full in my opinion she went like full like Tina Turner with it so mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. my favorite song on the album yeah that song is hard Devon you had a favorite? <laughs> um, <laughs> for these, uh... <laughs> nah, I, I, I like the one with uh, Post Malone. Yeah, I think that, that that was one of the first ones I went to. Um, are you gonna and the us... singles? And I like the singles too. Are yeah. you gonna let us clip like um, you saying that? <laughs> no, you don't like Beyonce. Absolutely, please. Let's do it. Absolutely, they don't want to do a podcast, but I wanted to clip it, right? <laughs> I mean, if y'all feel like it's in, then sure. Like, That's gonna go viral. Feed me to the walls, but it's not like I'm just. See, I, I just feel like now, we good. deserve better. As consumers. Better than so the, Beyonce. And before not, we started this, you oh told me certain things. Front, like, before oh we started this podcast, you told me certain things are subjective. Are you speaking subjectively right now? Yeah. Like, okay. I'm not mad at that. I, I, I'm not mad at I, that at all. Yeah, it's I, like what he wants. That's okay. I'm not yeah. mad at it. I feel like I'm not she's, mad at I, it. This is the, the she's feeding a you know how yeah. there was a uh, a team that won a championship a few years ago. I can't remember if uh, if it was a college team. Or NBA team, and mm. they got invited to the White House, mm. and it's like, oh shit! I go to the White House. I'm in the most pristine place ever. I get to see all these fucking monuments. I meet the president. Oh shit! But they fed them McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot. It was when Trump was in office. It was Beyonce when Trump was is in like office, the yeah. White House. Anything she does is like, oh my god, it's fucking Beyonce. But then the product be like, <laughs> to you. I don't think if you look at if you look at the Renaissance tour, that is not no McDonald's. That That's is like the no, top no, of the top. The, the, like, no, I, and I'm not knocking that. And mm-hmm. I will. I, you mean I'm like this album? Or? You did. You said everything after Lemonade. Renaissance was after Lemonade. Like, it's like if you look at the Renaissance tour, like what more can she do? Like that was the most phenomenal production ever. Like I feel like she does. Like she does put a lot into her craft. I'll give you that. I will say I'm this not, though. I'm not gonna argue mm-hmm. that. The Boogeyman is coming. The Boogie Woman is coming. Rihanna, Taylor yeah. Swift. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> that Taylor Swift album is on the way. Oh shit! Wait, I don't what? know if it's a pop album. I don't know if it's a country album. But oh, uh, oh, no. I do want to see how this competes when uh, when Taylor's album releases. There's no competition. I don't. I I, I don't know. You think Taylor? I gotta see it? it. I think so. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> see it. She, uh, she gives more personality too. Yeah, for sure. But again, she's from a different generation. I, I'm not trying to. Pit, I'm just saying from a, not, a number I'm, standpoint. I'm not trying to pit either. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm just saying. Like, I, I, I know Taylor Swift. To, my entry to her was as a country artist. Okay, you, right? you know her song. Uh, if y'all play them, like I'll I'll know them, but I don't know the names. Nah, nah I don't know any of them. I'm we feeling twenty two. Oh, 
<laughs> oh no, no. Gangster. Oh no, right, no, 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 no. I don't think she said gangster. Oh shit. <laughs> My little remix. I don't think that's the remix. That's the remix on that shit. Let me see if I know. Oh, cause she wears shorts, girl. And a t-shirt. Oh no, I know this one. Thank you, Pierre. Thank you, Pierre. (laughs) Y'all know this one. This tells what? Isn't that what I was just singing? No. I don't know, but I, I feel like I know this one. You're on the phone with your girlfriend. She's you know upset. Nah. No. Go on. Oh. No. Nah. Fuck. Bro. I thought I knew it. She. He knows it. You want the hook? Yeah. You want the hook? I need the hook. Chill. Uh, Chill. Here. Here. No, bro. No? Yo, my introduction to Taylor Swift, no? right? I, I play guitar. <laughs> it's like it says right? Zoe And all her songs, most of her songs <laughs> are four chords. Yeah, they say four. Yeah. So most people who learn <laughs> are learning guitar learn Taylor Swift songs. So I learned uh, guitar on Taylor Swift. That songs. is so cute. Oh, so you were Swifty. <laughs> Nigga, next time you come up in here, put the Swifty shirt on. Low key. <laughs> He's really. like, okay, <laughs> you got me. You got I know me. you was a Swifty gang. Not really, but I, I, but I did enjoy Beyonce's album. Please leave in the comments how you feel. I I don't want to take away from Savon's point about what he's talking about with Beyonce. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see yeah, what he's saying. I, I, I see what he's saying. Let me know if y'all feel the same way. I, I, I'm I'm truly befuddled a little. Bit. Would you rather hear Taylor Swift make a, a R and B like hip hop <gasps> album? Don't. Oh my God. Or, Stop. Don't make us answer this. Or, Be- or Beyonce do the country shit. Ask a white. Uh... Ask who? Ask a white. I, actually, no. I think I would rather hear Beyonce's country album because we see it and she did it well. I don't think Taylor Swift has that like flavor that she could make a good R&B album. If you put her next to who, Mike Will made it Metro Boomin. No, I don't think that's going to sound good. I don't think that's going to sound good. No, you don't think it's going to be alright? It might go crazy. Not even as like a joke. I, I genuinely don't like. She's no Justin Bieber because Justin Bieber when he's at his best, he's in, doing R&B. People will flock though just to hear what it kind of. Right, how sure. about this? How about for this? Sure, for sure, the fuck. We'll oh figure it out. What do you want to play? T swizzle. T pizzle. T pizzle. <laughs> like eight foot four blonde hair huh? to the floor. You sure these never thought I'd think about yeah. rapping hardcore. No, hey, I ain't Taylor. got a gun. No, hey. I never really been Taylor. in a car. I club. see why you hey. live with Taylor. my parents, Mark but I'm still sweat. a thug. I'm, I'm so a... gangsta. You can find me baking Taylor, cookies you're still at night. Watch this out, gangsta. See? I just make carrots and lettuce. If she got the right producer, she might really smoke me in the country shit. Nah. But see, but see, but see, Beyonce could do what she could do, but she cannot do what Beyonce That's could what do. I was mm. saying. That's what I was saying. You just said it better. Just, that just proved it. That just proved it. We, we not February no more. Nah. So I could do <laughs> Like, no, bro. Don't make me do that, bro. Don't nah, make me do that, the bro. truth. The truth? What's yeah. the truth? What I just told you. Who moved the needle more? Who moves the needle more? <gasps> Yeah. You're on your you Andrew Schultz shit right now. Don't joke, don't joke, don't joke. Oh, I'm about to say, don't do this. Don't I, don't do this. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't care. Um, <laughs> fucking stupid, bro. Kendrick, he moves the needle. He does. He moves the fuck out of the needle. Shut up. Needle. 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 Episode title. Needle. needle. Um, no. Kegels. <laughs> you have big Kegels? I don't have a I don't vagina. I Alex could. You, oh, you got to have a vagina do Kegels? That's kind of how it That's works. That's what it is. <laughs> it's the vagina exercises. Fuck. <laughs> I don't even know. That's kind of oh old. my god. You do it with your ball, nigga? Ew! You clench your ass? All right, Diddy. <laughs> no, Diddy. Word, Diddy getting excited in this shit. Said, are you clenching your ass? <laughs> Yo, I don't have actually no shit like that. This is, so fu- this is so <laughs> random, but we're going to get right back to that shit, but I'm sorry. It's like an intruding thought in my head right now. <laughs> Wait, what? There's this clip of Meek Mill at a Diddy party, right? Yeah. Oh, and no. they gave him the mic to freestyle, right? Diddy right by, by the next to him. <laughs> So, you know, the first bar Meek said, again, he's freestyling, so it's off the top of his dome. He was saying some gangster nigga shit. Uh, we was getting, we was with the gun slider, we was shooting with block. the ops. We was with the op, with the whoop. He's, Meek, Meek read the party and realized, yo, this is the freak party. I got to turn it up. <laughs> so he realized that, yo, this ain't the killer driller drill party right here. So he switched the lyrics to, I was fucking this bad bitch. All you see is Diddy. Oh, yeah. like <laughs> Diddy just turn around. Turn around. <laughs> I nigga started that. dancing, started doing the one-two, started hitting the sham moon <laughs> shit, like a little horny ass nigga. I'm sorry, that was an intruding thought in my head. I saw that video, yeah. <laughs> that shit was funny as hell. Like he was <laughs> activated once he, he was, saw like pussy. As soon as Mix said, I was fucking this bad, but he go did he. Yeah, daddy. Nah, my, fault. <laughs> my fault, my fault, my fault. I think one of the most disturbing clips yeah. was um, y'all saw Diddy with Fab and Jadakiss? 
Y'all yeah, remember that interview? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that with, was with Nori. That, dang, yeah. I didn't see that one. I didn't yeah, see that got, one. Yo, you gotta tap in. You gotta. Okay, well, I, I never seen back. Fab yeah. scared in my life. Yo, I've never seen uh, Jadakus silent like that. Everybody was just looking at uh, Diddy like, wait, what is going on? Right. Not the same Jadakus that wanted to throw the fridge at Puff, right? <laughs> Couldn't be that nigga, right? Nah, it was. It was though. Nah, that's, that's the thing. Think about how much power you gotta have that make real niggas just. Like, wow. I mean, if you. <laughs> them niggas if you, don't. Bro, like, that nah. statement was very problematic, not gonna lie. No. It's not. It's the, like, you know how the hood is, Alex. Huh? Don't you know, put Alex in that. <laughs> you see the niggas? Yo, niggas is crazy. Oh, oh, my God. Was like, Alex, he was like, you feel them, Alex, Marty? Like, no, no. Don't put A in that. <laughs> bro, we all come from certain neighborhoods. You I'm know sure. how neighborhoods be. And I ain't shit, seen Diddy in none of my hoods. I know, but come on, man. That nigga don't, was don't nowhere. do me like that. Like, <laughs> you got to be a real different type of dude to like make, you know, make uh, real niggas just respect that. Like, respect that shut shit. that shit up for real. So what you got to do if you Kendrick? Yo, what's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? Before we get back into the episode, I want to make sure we give a special shout out to the good folks over at Underdog Fantasy. Yes, we love our yeah. friends at Underdog Fantasy because they have a special little promo for you guys. They will give you a deposit matchup of up to $100, but you have to use our code Need to Know. So you can put in $5, they'll match up $5. You could put $100, they'll match up $100 only if you use our promo code Need to Know. Exactly. So press pause right now, download the Underdog Fantasy app and use promo code need to know for a deposit match of up to a hundred dollars come on y'all let's get it if you who kendrick, kendrick yeah. if, if, if i'm <laughs> what you gotta do with kendrick kendrick Lamar, uh number one I, he helped i think a lot of future, people say future metro boomin future, future metro boomin like boomin. that number one on the billboard number one damn uh, I, I think the aftermath is still. We still feel like the ripple effects of that song. I'm still listening to it. The album, the music is good. So let's start with the music, right? The music is good, but then the yeah. antics and the aftermath, like we kind of see how things played out. Um, you talking, you talking, this, what's up? You talking about the album? Still talking about the music? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I seen a lot of people try to uh, say this future album is whack. Yo, yeah. dog. If y'all don't. If y'all don't like trap music, <laughs> don't listen. <laughs> don't listen. <laughs> I don't know why you guys thought <laughs> this shit was going to sound like uh, To Pimp a Butterfly or some shit. I, I don't know. But if you enjoy trap music, that is a high quality mm -hmm. trap album for sure. No question. Continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I just was like, I don't know fast forward from last week till today. Yeah. Um, there's been a lot that's happened. A lot of people have responded. A lot of people in their feelings. Yeah. Metro Boomin looks like he's on top of the world. He's in Vegas spinning the song, singing the lyrics. He looks like a rapper. I've never seen a producer outside of <laughs> Diddy. I've never seen a producer <laughs> like be so forthcoming like mm -hmm. with the album this way. And and he should because. Um, last year when he was having a, the whole issue um, yeah. with the Grammys and, and and with Drake and certain people not respecting his album or how he felt, right? Yeah. Um, what was it? Hero, Heroes and Villains? Yeah. I think it was Heroes and Villains, right? Yeah. A lot of people didn't give it the love and the attention that I think it deserved, that he felt it deserved. Mm -hmm. So to kind of see him get that retroactively today, I think it's dope. I think it's dope. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree with yeah, that. Yeah, I think it's dope. Um, I also like the fact that he is somebody who keeps receipts. He keeps receipts. He does, but he's also crashing out right now. You think so? Yeah, because yeah, I mean, he, he as is we're recording this. He is happy, but Alex is going to read the. Yeah, as we're recording tweets. this, yeah, he's uh, he's claiming that he's been hacked. <laughs> He's Wait, what? Hacked. Yeah. He's, Wait, I didn't know that part. I know I knew the tweet where he was like, yo, y'all yeah. are scared to like um promote my album. Yeah, no, since But uh, he's claiming that he didn't post that? As as we are recording this right now, at the time of we of us recording this, he's claimed to have been hacked. He was not hacked. He posted that shit. That, and we we kind of all know that, right? Oh my I saw God. Elliot Wilson just post. He says, uh Metro Boomin says, What I look like subbing savage, and we were on the phone for an hour two days ago. Mm -hmm. Y'all should have known something was up then. But negativity and bad news travels faster and further than anything else. I feel like I'm being trolled right now. Wait, mm. so did he say he was hacked or did he just post that? <laughs> he did. I went to his tweets, uh, but he deleted the tweets too. Yo, he's, when he said he was hacked. One thing about Metro. I Tweet love and deleter. You know, yes, I was going to say, he he be tweeting and deleting everything. Like, Ain't that what Drake said at the nigga? <laughs> oh, he, mm, Ain't that what that. he said? He did. Yeah, you tweet and tweet deleters. And deleters. <laughs> Metro, you guys have an amazing album. I don't know why. Oh, uh, you think somebody stepped in him or something? What, Wait, what? Where could be this energy switch? He was so confident the week of the release, right? Mm -hmm. Like oh, Savon was saying, like he was partying and yeah, stuff. Pick a side and stay there, all that shit. Yeah. Like everything felt so gangster. What happened? 
I don't know. Oh. Honestly, is he I, I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he is would he be really afraid hacked? of. I don't know. I don't, I don't think he's hacked. I don't <laughs> yeah, think, I'm being like, trolled. People don't, don't, people, you don't get hacked in 2024. No, no. Back that to is back. true. Like, Yo, you don't get Unless you're offset. Remember the dick and balls? He's the only <laughs> nigga that I accept getting hacked on. The when balls you, in my mouth that he said. <laughs> yeah. He said, I mean, I mean, I mean. Like, he ran to the Diddy parties. Like, immediately. Yo, yeah. dick and balls, dick in my mouth. Like, he was going crazy. Like, he's yeah. the only person I would accept to get hacked in 2024. Anybody else, mm -hmm. you didn't get hacked. You didn't, like, like, just randomly get hacked. They have two-factor like. authentication. Thank mm -hmm. you. Like, and your post, your post didn't get deleted. You deleted that shit yourself. It wasn't enough engagement on it. Yeah, you gotta stand on it. You gotta Certain stand shit on it. When stop. you got the number one album in the world, you yeah. just gotta stand, stand on the shit on that it. you say. Yeah. Like it's high. And then Fuck when it. you say you got hacked, dog, for how long? We Wait. saw you talking on the internet for one to two weeks. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Who? Okay, if you hack Metro Boomin's Twitter, yeah. why would the hacker tweet, "Yo, <laughs> my rapper friends aren't promoting my album"? Like, clearly the hacker wouldn't post like you posted that. Yeah, like, what? like what the fuck? I feel this like is I'm so big. silly. Like, I, I don't know what's going on, but I can, I can kind of, I can guesstimate. What happened? I saw a picture on uh, Drake's IG story. Last night, right? Wait, hold on. Before you, yeah. go, I just want to say if, mm -hmm. to to the listeners, listen to this because Alex also called that "What Will Pluto Do" by Drake was all about future. He called this like months ago. Yeah. Now he's gonna go into another theory. Yeah. Let us listen. Ooh. Now I could be completely wrong, but I'm just gonna speak as a fan once again. Again, I was on Drake's IG story last night, and he posted a picture of himself in what seems to be a studio setting. Right? It looks like there's an engineer working on the laptop or, or a producer working on beats. And, it, and right directly in front of him is a shirt covering the mic. Now, why is this shirt so important? The shirt had a picture of Vibes Cartel and Vibes Cartel first album. Okay. Okay, well, like, I know you guys are probably like, okay, who the fuck gives a fuck about that? Like, Free the World Boss, those of you who are fans of Vibes Cartel, you know he's trying to fight for his freedom as we speak. But... Just like y'all, I was like, uh, whatever. Click to the next story. <laughs> As I'm watching the next story, I had this inclination like, now nah, let me go back like, to why that shit. Post yeah, that, like, yeah. during, during war? You be doing the science. I be trying to OD. on some That's music shit. That's why I'm shit. trying to listen because I'm like, he, he's probably going to be right. Like, I, I'm, Listen, I could be wrong. Leave it in the comments. I'm just telling you what I know, right? Alex, the, the rap whisperer. The rap whisperer. Hey, what up, y'all? <laughs> so I go back to the story. And I start to think, I'm like, hmm, one of the first times I was introduced to Vibes Cartel was on a Bounty Killer song. Okay. The song is called Girls Like Mine. Song was, was uh, released in 2001. Mm -hmm. um, why is that important? Vibes Cartel ended up being an artist under Bounty Killer's label, The Alliance. Shortly after that, Movado, and this is for all my dance, dance hall, hall. This is yeah. literally just dance hall legends. This so is some. Like, if you are a dance hall fan, you are very aware of the beef between Gaza Empire and the Gully Side. All right, Gully Side being Movado, and of course Gaza being uh, Vibes Cartel. So again, after Vibes became a part of the Alliance, Movado shortly joined the Alliance. Now, fast forward a little bit. Vibes Cartel ended up leaving the alliance and got into a beef with Movado and the Gully side. Now, Vibes Cartel left and created Gaza. Gaza is comprised of, who am I trying to know? Popcon. Mm -hmm. Popcon is an extension of Gaza, right? So again, not to get you guys lost, Vibes Cartel left the alliance who had Movado on the roster. And after uh, Vibes left, he created Gaza. Movado created the gully side, right? Now, again, after he left, Vibes was very disgruntled with members of the Alliance. Some of those members were Sirani, um, oh my God, Busy, Busy Signal. Okay. And of course, um, my dog, Bounty Killer. For those of you who are not familiar with Bounty Killer, Bounty Killer is the same Bounty Killer that did the verses with Beanie Man. Mm -hmm. Back when, you know, Versus was, really, was still a thing and popping. Yeah. So again, Beanie Man, uh, Bounty Killer, these are staples in the dance hall culture. Mm -hmm. Cool. I hope you guys are still with me. So as I'm looking at the IG pick, I'm like, I see a mic. Why would he purposely put 
Vibes Cartel album from when he was under the Alliance on the mic. So I go, you know what? Whoa. Okay, cool. Whatever. After Vibes leaves the Alliance, he drops a plethora of diss tracks. Mm. Two I could two I could think of at the top of my mind. I'm gonna get y'all the tracks in a second. I'm just forgetting. I listen to a lot of dancehall music. I post it all the time. You follow me on Instagram. So I love this shit. Like I love all of that vibe. You feel me? So I was thinking to myself. I'm like, man, Drake really is a fan of cultural events, right? Mm-hmm. Like he's he's the that. one that that bought the um, the uh, Pharrell jewelry. Yeah. And supposedly melted it down <clears throat> when he was in beef. Mike, the Pusha T Mike. He's a fan of the culture. He's like, a fan of culture. Of yeah, culture hip hop. Right? Of, of all of Genuinely, it. Like, yeah. In Toronto, like it, you said, it goes back to dance hall and his right. influence in Jamaica. And like, he's a fan of, of culture. Exactly. Right. So for me, as a fan, on back to back, I remember Drake saying, I waited five days, nigga, where y'all at? I can't bump an AR rap. Which made me think, all right, cool. If you get into some beef with somebody, I know you're on tour right now, but I don't, you don't strike me as a person that necessarily wants to wait a long ass time to respond to, you know, who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Which led me now to this conclusion, right? Gully and Gaza is still at beef, still at odds. What made me think about that entire situation between what happened between Movado and Vibes is people, powerhouses who were formerly really close, no longer, who no longer get along. And I thought to myself, I'm like, could Drake kind of be throwing that type of hint on the IG story right now? It's just so random. Like the mm-hmm. vibes album from 2003. This is this isn't even the same day that uh, uh, they announced that Vibes Cartel has been released or is, is trying to get a full release. Mm-hmm. This is some weeks after that. Like if I would have seen this the same day all that news came out, I would have been like, all right, cool. He's just supporting Vibes, free the world, boss. Mm-hmm. For him to do it while he's in a studio. While the shirt of the album is on the mic, and while the engineer looks to be queuing up something, mm-hmm. that shit really stood out to me. So he's basically making a cultural reference, I like very is. low key, and people like Alex, he's gonna be like, "Oh, if you know, you know. If you know what I'm saying, yeah, you know, right?" Like, and then if you don't get it, you just. And again, I could be wrong, right? Wait, so is it like, yeah? Okay, so now it's a long-standing beef between them. Gully side and is Gaza. Is he referencing like, oh, this is just where we're gonna be at? Like, we're just gonna be in a cold war for a long time, or no? Think about how Vibes Cartel left the Alliance, right? With all people who were prominent in music, mm-hmm. who are popular at what they do, who are highly uh, 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 sought at at what they do, leaving the pack. So in in your see what I'm getting at. In, in in your comparison, yeah. Drake would be vibes cartel. Leaving the pack. Leaving the pack. And going the pack at odds. would be future, Metro, right. Rick Ross, and all the people Only that lunch. seem to not fuck with Drake. Right. I could be completely wrong, yo, but it was 12 a.m. in the morning and I was like, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> like, like, like yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. My mom was wandering and I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm just a fan of dancehall music. For sure. And if you if you are Gaza and Gully is very much still a thing. <laughs> you saying Bolt will tell you. Don't yeah. play none of that Gully shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we know we know yeah. Drake. Drake. That's how Drake likes to play, right? Like mm. mm-hmm. Drake doesn't like to. He he speaks in if you know you know. Yeah. Right. Like that's some of the reasons why he's had some of these sparrings with other rappers because he's talking exactly to them. Yeah. And we just singing it in the club. We have no idea yeah. who he's this <laughs> or what, what the fuck, fuck he's talking fuck his about. Ass over there. But it's like I <laughs> bet this shit is fire. And now the artist is like, wait, yeah. hold up, I'm tight. So anybody like yourself who yeah. looked at that story, like when I seen it, mm-hmm. I'm just like, all right, mm-hmm. Drake, he's doing it's his cool. thing. He's on tours in the studio. Yeah. Bob's cartel. I know he fucks with the dance hall culture. Like, right. so I'm not looking at it any different like oh mm. wait this nigga's trying to be a culture vulture or this is weird like nah mm. that's on brand for him to show love to all different types especially vibes right yes. like yes. he's been very vocal for his support in that space so yeah to me it wasn't weird at all and i don't think it was weird to you i think it's just you being a student yeah. and having that third eye i was like all right bet let me let me look at this a little bit different right and I, you are ovo i i'm i'm not no you you I am? you a fan OVO. Of OVO. i'm a fan of everybody though but when i met you it was ovo it probably was at that point right, in my that's life. All right, that's at that point in my life, I probably, I probably am still OV. I like all these niggas, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I do like when niggas cut up all that buddy buddy shit, Facts. right? And this is also coming off the heels of I don't know if you guys heard uh, heard about this in the past week. BFB the Pac Man. Oh my god! <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. I know what you're going to say. Like they were they were about to have music released together. Exactly. And Drake, then Drake said, "Stop." 
Drake was featured I'm about on. To fucking do some shit. D- d- that's what. That's okay, what... sorry. I just skipped over the details because I got excited. Okay, <laughs> no, Alex, you're fine. Now Alex will explain. Something. You hit it right on the head, girl. Nah, okay. you're right. BFB was about to drop the album, and he did put out the album, but he mm-hmm. was promoting it with uh, Rio and Drake on the same song. Mm-hmm. So again, if you like, you know, hood music, street music, you fucking Rio. Rio's Detroit. Shout to Rio. He locked though. Mm-hmm. Did his verse over the phone. And we've seen Drake link up with the and real street niggas. And people were expecting this Drake feature to drop. Exactly. So but then it didn't. It didn't, yeah. So the night of the release, BFB was just talking about how he didn't have possession of the album anymore. Mm-hmm. So he didn't know where it was or how it was going to come out when the album released. The Drake feature that was promoted was not on the album. And it shouldn't be. It's, yeah, yeah. Right. It's probably, it's probably it's not time for that. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's going yeah. quiet. He's going it's not quiet time for that. until right. the big diss. Yeah. And it was probably an older verse where he yeah. didn't get to yeah. Yeah. You know, no, come at uh, all the new beef. It's, it's not time for that. Yeah. Everybody so. would have definitely uh, chopped that up and expected him to like talk about it. Yeah. Exactly. When Even it was, if it was an yeah, old yeah, verse. Yeah. You don't deserve the verse that I'm about to give you. Yeah. You know, like, no, for you don't deserve it for two reasons. One, because right. if I do diss somebody on it, now you get all that attention. And if I don't, now people are going to be like, wait, he's ducking the smoke. So yeah. you don't even deserve that verse in yeah. no regard if I'm Drake. So Dang, right. that, that kind of makes sense. Though. Fucked up. Like BFB, that was such a big look for him. It was, and he's an independent <sighs> artist. Yeah. That would, that would imagine as an independent artist getting a yeah, Drake like, feature. He, he could spin the block. Yo, I mean, he could. Yeah, because at the end he of the day, could. that nah, verse still nah. like exists, you know? Drake don't he need could. to do nothing with anybody independent right now. Not no, right, not right, not right now, but like this is not the in, time. in a few months, it's, I feel like BFP does deserve that. When things die down, he does. Also, he does. also, fun fact, guys, this is very, very random. Um, yeah. Go watch the BFP, the Pac-Man <laughs> music video. Reggie's Honey Pack, I'm in that shit. Reggie's in it. <laughs> Reggie's in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm in Times Square, Time like, Square. In, like, like in the whip, like just yeah. like. <laughs> Please go watch Vixen? it. Yes. I, I was just what the fuck? We talented over here. Since when? <laughs> we talented over here, bro. Um, I've lived many, many lives before this podcast. <laughs> Holy Yo, shit. Yo, Saval was just telling me yeah. before the podcast, he's like, I don't know you before the podcast. Like, yeah. I want to see single Reggie. I'm like, she was very fun. <laughs> I, was in, I was in music video yeah. and shit. I see. <laughs> it, was very, it was very I fun. See. But I do think uh, Drake is going to write a response. Also, to add to that, uh, Vibes Cartel and Movado story, both sides both said some very disparaging things about each other. Yeah. Yeah. Movado spoke about uh, Vibes bleaching his skin. Mm-hmm. Vibes spoke about. Oh, like a how real he, beef. Yeah. Right? Vibes yeah. spoke about how he allegedly had sexual relations with Movado's mother. Like it got, it got muddy. Oh, mm-hmm. like Biggie Tupac, like. It got muddy. Okay. So again, if he is referencing that, if he's a, a nerd like myself, then. So the diss is coming. Maybe. If, if your yeah. theory is right, it's coming. Maybe. I think I it's want coming. It, yeah. I want it. I want to hear the Drake diss. I really want it. Last week when we had Eden, who voted that he wasn't going to respond? You? Eden said he wasn't. Eden said he wasn't. Eden said he wasn't. We all said he was. Yeah. I was like, he has to. Like Kendrick okay. dissed right. him. He right. has right. to. Right. Like. Because right. yeah. I, I know for a fact. I believe in my heart of hearts. He has no choice but because again, going mm-hmm. back to him being a student, like Drake is hip hop. I know a lot of people who yeah, have that <laughs> debate. Drake is hip hop, and yeah. out of these three, he's the most battle tested. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people have sure. said it, but it's the truth. He's so. easily the I most. So. E- out of these three, out of these three, out of, these, yes. out of this whole big okay, three, okay. he's easily okay. the most. He's been in like five beefs. Like, no pause. I get it, but <laughs> if we keep it at a hundred, and I don't, I don't want to take away from it. He was the. Wasn't he the better artist in each one of those scenarios? Like clearly the better. definitive. So it wasn't like a wow. real duel, right? Like wasn't he the definitive artist? Like isn't Bigger he the def- artist? Yeah. yeah, right. Like mm-hmm. this is a whole nother ball game. We dealing with your real peers. I feel yeah, but- common. Common wasn't like come on, stay scheming. We got you off on stay scheming. You out of here. But when LeBron James Me- go plays the Trailblazers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What that mean? Like, are we just in the same arena? We only sometimes have, they low manage. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't sometimes they show up. Nah, that, I don't. I think he's still because even though the artists that he went against, maybe not as popular. We've at, we've at least seen it. They are yeah. true. They are real MCs. First off, nobody's gonna sure. look at Meek Mill or Pusha T as right. weak opponents when it comes to a battle. And Joe no, and right? Joe Budden. <laughs> I, I can't forget Joe. I had to do it. All, all forty tracks. Can't all forget. 40, yeah. Can't yeah. forget Joe. So he, he's had some formidable. <laughs> yeah. He had formidable. Like opponents. real opponents. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, had some formidable. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's he's, fair. He's I'll definitely battled. But, but this one's gonna be like, like pro- if he does respond, like the best one. But okay. this one is interesting because he's gonna get people who does the same thing that he does, which is make hits. Yeah. Like Ooh. Travis Scott, if he decides to shoot at Travis Scott, that's that's a little difficult. That's a little that's that's tricky, I, I would say. I don't know if it's difficult. That's tricky. Kendrick Lamar, obviously, future, like 
however he decides to go about it, yeah. this isn't going to be, let's just put out the best 16. Let me give you my my, my best 2, 6, my 30, best two, whatever. Like, yeah. It's not just about the bars or the cadence or the beat. Like You have to actually have a full package if you're going against the people that he seems to be going against. Like mm -hmm. Travis Scott being on stage, like, yo, play, play like that, bro. Like, come on, play the disc. Like, <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. You dick eating, nigga. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Wait, but also, I think like if he if he shoots at Travis with like a 16, that would be so funny because I don't picture Travis being able to like diss him back. Can't from my son Travis a whole with, like, yo. no, with like the bars. You dick eating, bro. My son Travis is a whole son. That nigga is diddy. Like, why did he do uh, that? Diddy bop. <laughs> now, granted, what the fuck? They could probably be something that drake really did to everyone where everybody is just aligning like yo nah that dude is scum for sure but travis scott specifically like we've seen him flip flop with not just drake kanye west drake there's another artist where you just like we whatever whatever makes more sense at the moment he just rock with <laughs> I don't what's know. the definition of that Opportunistic. Dick eater. <gasps> Fuck out of here. Like, what are you doing, bro? Yo, I literally, yeah, before nah. I got it, like, because when Alex said opportunity, I was like, that's actually like the perfect word. And then yeah. when same, I was like, dick eater. <laughs> bro, it's like, pick after, a side for real. Nah, nah. After sicko mode, yeah, Trav, you were supposed you to pick your Yeah, no, no. Pick your side. Bro, bro Sicko Mode went crazy. Went he's been I like, remember with that song. Every bro. single Drake album since Sicko Mode. Yeah. No, yeah, I think yet. Sickle Mode is one of the greatest songs ever made. Yeah, like, don't re listen it's, it's, it's to it. One of those, literally, it's one of those ones. Like, it's one of those ones, yeah. for sure. So, for him to even be I like, the impact yo, play it had this, too, play right. the this. That's like, crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Bro. Nah, yeah. 20, what about, yeah. How about how y'all feel about 21 Savage? I don't. Right. Oh yeah, we don't say my stuff. I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't. He just, just don't he, feel. He's another one of like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't. It doesn't resonate. His, his music. Has, his music has never resonated for you. If nah. I'm if I'm but, if I'm 21 though, I'm signing with Metro. Why? <gasps> why? He has. He's supposed to. I'm but he, with, he just did her loss though with Trey. That's exactly why I would side with Metro because. Uh -huh. If you if you completely side with Drake, now everyone is gonna make you seem like, all right, cool. You own your music only works when you work with the top artists of all time. Uh, well, not all time. Well, Debatably. Yeah, 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 Debatably yeah, yeah, one of the greatest yeah, yeah. artists ever, right? When you work with the producer, it's a whole nother ball game. Yeah. It's more like, all right, cool, this rapper and this producer is a great tandem. Yeah, think, yeah. They're a great tandem when they come together. When you have to piggy around Drake to to sell. That's that's not gonna look good on you on your jacket as a rapper. That Better if you get the producer. Three people yeah. who we haven't heard from in this whole tension war, cold war, civil war, whatever oh you want to call excited. it. There's three people that we haven't heard from that by default should pick Metro side. Okay. That's Twenty One Savage. That's Big Sean, and it's Offset. Offset in this? Those three gentlemen have collab albums with Metro Boomin. Mm. So when I saw the tweet of Metro say, there's a lot of y'all that's quiet. Mm -hmm. Obviously, 21 is probably the first person that came to mind for everybody. Very obvious pick. Right. But then I had to go check out his catalog and say, hmm, who else could he be talking to? <laughs> uh, Lil, is it Young Thug? No. <laughs> Can't talk to Young Lil Thug. Lil Durk. Is it Lil Durk? I didn't think Little Dirk because I don't. They don't have a project together, right? A full project. They have a project. I know they work together. Yeah, but they work together. I'm, yeah. I'm talking about bodies of work. If we decide to make an album together, mm. I think that says we have but, a different type of relationship. But he's. Uh, but Metro said in that uh, in that tweet that everyone that's not posting it, right? Even mm -hmm. if you made a song with Metro, he mm -hmm. would probably expect for you to post the album. No? And, and that's what I'm saying. Right. So a song, but I think an mm -hmm. album is even more collaborative, a lot more intimate. Mm -hmm. So if I did a collaboration album with you at some point. I would expect some type of support. Like you're supposed to be my guy. Like, if we're yeah. drawing a, a alliances, which you clearly know I'm trying to do. So somebody like a 21 and maybe an Offset and maybe a Big Sean, right? I would think he's thinking of certain people. I don't know who he's thinking about, but I know those three people have a collaboration album with him. And I think that means and says a lot. And so mm -hmm. your vocal support would be like, I right, bet I want to at least see something. Here's something. Now, 21, he has the pressure because... He has a collaboration album with both of these guys. Yeah. So for him, it's really, but you need to pick a side. Yeah. And 21 has done more with Metro. For sure. I think yeah. He's done way yeah, more with Metro than he's done with Drake. He has, yeah. but I, I think recency bias, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her loss was such a, a massive moment. Emphatic. Great, great. All of that, right? So yeah. um, 
did they go on tour together? Did and they're they, visi- they visibly together? like they're on stage together, like mm-hmm. literally within the past. I, Reggie, did they t- uh, tour her? I horse? can't remember if they toured I together. Remember. I don't know. See, if he I think it's all a blur. A was originally with Twenty One Savage, wasn't it? I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I believe so. That's I think they were supposed and to do something did, together. Yes, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's all a blur. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you, so yeah, I think those are some of the people. While being on tour, Drake is showing a lot of energy. I don't know if y'all are seeing these clips, the the clips that I'm seeing, but this is him on stage the other night. Is it true? Oh, but I did see one comment. Shout out to the YouTube comments. Thank you for the support. I did see one comment that was like, I wish you guys would stop bringing up these Drake tour videos because literally he does that every at every show. show. Yeah. Is that true? I don't know. That person might be right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really watch every single these, you know, this, video. This time around, they have definitely a lot more energy behind it. Okay. <laughs> did you hear the fuck them? I'm going to play that for you again. How about that? <laughs> Oh, okay, shit. Yeah, that's that's that was all beat. That's what, yeah. He like. Yeah, that's what the diaphragm. That wasn't even the lyrics. Like, yeah, that nah. wasn't even. A, he that nigga said off one, shit. two, f- 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 fuck niggas. <laughs> like he wanted y'all to know. Yeah. So uh, I, I haven't been to every Drake concert, yeah. but I can imagine when you hear people dissing you, and there's a whole bunch of niggas dissing you, it is that type of energy. Like nah, I, fuck I do me, feel like we about real. to see him in rare form. Do you ever? You guys ever see that? Uh, the shop episode with uh Drake and Bron, where Drake was telling the story about how. Um, Pusher went too far. Word, word, word. Pusher went too far, and then he went to Drake. Uh, Drake went to Brown. Brown was like, "Yo, like, chill. I oh. not want to do that." And then These he took so he took his advice, but the energy he had behind it, he was like, "Yo, I did the research. I was really about to go, you know, walk off a plank off of this, but then <laughs> I reserved myself, and then he just didn't do it. He didn't respond. So I think that whatever energy that was, yeah. that might be the, coming up this and you know plus more. So I want to see it. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be very fucking entertaining. Yeah. And it's summertime. <laughs> yeah, make that shit sound good though, Drake, please. Nah. <laughs> he has to. Like that is a strip club anthem right now. Literally, it's he actually, not only does it have yeah. the Kendrick diss on it, like people are actually listening to the song. I've seen a lot <laughs> like, of booty being shaken to that shit. Yeah. <laughs> After you went out to the mm-hmm. Thai restaurant? To the Thai restaurant. Nah, it was, nah, it was, it was before. While, while he was at the Thai restaurant. Oh, nah, that's, nah. <laughs> and you went there by yourself too? Wait, the spot? Yeah, the nah, the nah, spot, nah, nah. I was out with uh, people. People's uh, okay, yeah, all right, so all right. Few, few I'm just trying to see, all right. So, yeah, that, that definitely <laughs> is strip club. Uh, right wait, now. did you say I'm Big Sean everything. and who you said? Same offset, offset. I don't know, like, I think I, I do think you're right, like, they really do have to pick a side, but it mm. just it's a little less interesting, no, like, trying to see what they think because. I don't think they're known for being like besties with Drake. Mm-hmm. So that's why the 21 was like, oh my God, who is he going to pick? But Big Sean, like, I don't, does he even like, like Drake? I don't know if anybody likes Big Sean. Stop <laughs> saying that. No, like we his peers. No, his, pe- his peers, his peers, his peers. I, I, like I fuck with Sean. I feel like everybody loves Big Sean. He's like, I'm I don't think his peers fuck with him like that. I feel for my what? Aries brother. I don't think he fucks with them like that either. I think it's a mutual. He's I don't very fuck with- secluded. Yeah, yeah. like I, I, I'm not saying like obviously he has fans. I think if Big Sean decided to actually put his energy into music and be an artist that we all know he could be, I think he would be great. I, well, at some point, I don't know now. Yo. That was crazy. No, like nah, bro, precision. Precision miss- was really good though. The last yeah. single he put out, that shit was hard. And what I say about that, like sometimes, yeah. like the music, everything, this shit changes every day. Mm-hmm. So I'm not speaking to his talent. I'm not speaking to his ability. I'm not speaking to anything other than the landscape of where music is. And so that's what I say by maybe he wouldn't be received the same way as he would have been a few years ago. It's not yeah. an indictment on him. It's, not. it's the same shit that we come and talk about on the podcast every like, week. Where's his hive shit right changes. now? Changes. Yeah, like I don't see the picture on hive. He abandoned yeah. his fan base. <laughs> He literally like where's one of my friends is Big Sean's biggest fan, yeah. and he's like, "Yo, where have you been?" You know, like he abandoned his fan base, so now you got to rebuild mm-hmm. it. He has the cachet, he has the catalog, but we see he may not have the relationships th- in the same way, right? Yeah. The, the 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 good music run. Oh. Kanye went on Drink Champs and said, Legendary. "I don't fuck with that nigga no more." Oh shit! And he said, <laughs> "I ain't fucking with Ye no more." Dang. Right? Like that was a whole movement. Um. All of it, all of it, just in general, his peers. Like, I don't see him with any of his peers. So I don't know how he feels. You're right. Damn. Yeah. We got I, think, I think he's trying to rebuild, though, because his recent Tiny Desk, 
People were it. loving it. Like people were loving, like, oh shit, he really does have all these hits and yeah. we love him. And everything he said about like, oh, I remember like the part where he was getting into like, oh, yo, being popping in the blog era. You guys remember that time. Like mm-hmm. his little uh speech that he did in that, like yeah. that really resonated. So mm-hmm. he is trying to rebuild, I think. Something He's that dope. resonated with me recently. Uh Party Next Door is releasing a new album, P4. Oh shit. <laughs> Why y'all laughing? How that music sounded? I ain't heard it yet, you ain't heard but it? but it looked <laughs> but it looked like it's about to be horny. <laughs> okay. I mean, Party Next Door it makes was, that type of music. So. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you could probably go to Party Next Door Instagram right now. There is a picture of a very fine woman, some knotless braids, <laughs> bent over the bed, with a tramp stamp that says four in correlation to P4, mm-hmm. Party Next Door for the fourth album, fourth installation. And directly under the ass is Tiger Stripes. And uh I like we, it all natural. Yeah, we all know them tiger stripes get wild. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh uh yeah, I just no, I seen it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, nah, I know. Oh, Save on is showing me right now. I seen it. I seen it, you know. I loved Pe- it. People are in a uh an uproar over this shit. You love it? I liked it. What what's the big deal? They think it's a lot. They think it's I un- think it looks good. They think it's uncouth. Oh my god! It's fucking party next door. <laughs> but what, he what, raps what? about fucking licking your vagina. Like he makes <laughs> sexy music. He so does, he, yeah. does. he does. Yo, hey. So what exactly about this cover are you like? Hmm. I just told you the knotless braids. Say, so I'm just like staring at it right the now. Bed, I'm, the I'm bed, studying. The bed sheet clean, right? White, all white sheets. All, all white. Let all me white see it again. Sheets, Let me see it again. Sheets, okay, sheets. I got you. The knotless braids look like they snakes. Like it's uh. What's, that, what's shorty with the wait, snakes? I'm going to read the comments. Medusa. 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 Like it's All a right. Medusa. And you know, that Medusa love get deep. Like Medusa love, you look in the eyes, she turn you into stone. Stone. And Bricked up. You you said it earlier. And and the, the best sheets is pure white. Best sheets pure white. Nice little pleats. T- tiger stripes, because you know you got to hold on tight. You know what I mean? Wait. She, I, is, it's, grip, she is gripping she, the sheets. It's invigorating. She is gripping the sheets. I looked at the comments and I see somebody under there. <laughs> hmm? Who you see? Who you see? You can explain. Oh, shoot. Who did it? <laughs> nah. so, it? It? Yo, bro, you gotta mm-hmm. eat before you leave the crib. Huh? Cause <laughs> it's it's an imbalance. What happened? It's an imbalance, bro. Like what I did. You why you why you in party night? You know him? What I, I said? I bet. You I, see, yeah, guys, if you go on the on the IG comments, the first comment you see is Alex L O I I bet. That shit got 16 likes. Because the way I'm looking at it is, oh, I bet. It's about to be freaky. Wait, why did Tiana <laughs> Trump comment no hater shit, but I don't like her arch? Who the fuck that comments that? That was hate. That? That like, was hate. Get back wo- in the lab, Tiana. As a woman, why do you comment that, girl? Get, like, yeah. stop. Get back in the lab. We like your arch, too. This is an equal arch opportunist. We ain't got to do all that, uh, Trump. I equal. like this picture. Equal. Equal. Across the board. I judge. Hmm? You ever did the hunchback? You ever seen that shit? Yeah, that's when you just do, that's when you just put that shit in collapse, doggy. What's what's that? Look it up. Collapse. It's when doggy. she's laying flat on the bed. Reggie, no. Oh, that's the name of it. Collapse. You know the name. Yo, <laughs> eat before you <laughs> leave the crib, bro. bro. What you mean? Eat before you leave. <laughs> what that got to do with collapse? Doggy? Why are you so horny? Why are I'm you so horny? horny? I'm knowing this shit. Savon, I don't masturbate, man. I li- <laughs> like I literally have to pray man. out the horny. Remember, remember, Alex said he's no longer a freak bull. Yeah, I'm not a freak bull no more. Collapse, doggy. Yeah, yeah I've, never, said, I've never wait, heard of that. Before. He said he has to pray the horniness away. Yes. I have to listen to music. I have to pray for the horniness to go away. I woke up bricked up this morning. Well, nah, men always do. Actually, so. nah, listen, Alex. Alex is on to something. So you know, <laughs> there have been times where I didn't want to be bricked up. I, you know, I was. You know how sometimes men, you get the involuntary bricked up. I'm trying to tell you, right? I started speaking in tongues and then it went down. <laughs> this is a wild story, <laughs> Pierre. Kid you speaking. not? Kid you not? Yo, yo, fellas. No. Next time you you involuntary bricked up, <laughs> involuntarily pray. bricked up, pray. Just pray. Or talk to God. Or okay. eat. Just eat. No, no, no. Eat, no. Eating will help that. Wait, some... does that still happen? No. It, it still happens like at this age, right? Yeah. Like yeah. the random ones? Yeah. 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 Sure. It's that annoying. Was so interesting. It was. It's I mean. annoying. Now, I also found the uh, lovely young lady who was on the cover. All right. What's her name? What's her IG? What's her IG? You know, I found that too. Oh, shit. You want me to Who snitch? You want me to snitch? Nah, send, just send, send it in the chat. That shit. <laughs> what? Nah, for research shit. I'm snitching. I don't care. Wait, uh, I want to know too. Her shit is uh, ma'am, mammy next door. M A A M I next door. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Wait, is that his girl? I don't know. Party next door, mammy next door. I don't know, but I know her BD. <laughs> I got, I got, I found a BD, right? Okay. Oh my gosh, she is. She's something. 
How you spell it? She's her? beautiful. M A A. M A A. M I A. M I A. Next door. I'm Next pleasantly door. surprised because we couldn't see her face at all, yeah. but she has a pretty face too. Hey, so. got you. Hey, got you. Ain't worried about it. Now, like I said, <laughs> I found her BD. Her BD goes by the name of Haiti underscore baby. He seems to be a musician. Big Zo. Big Zo. He's Haitian? Uh, he got to be Haitian, right? With a name like Big. Yeah, I see the, the flag in the okay. bio. Yep. Now, uh, before I go any further, I want everyone to put their lighters in the air for growth. Okay. All right. I forgot my light at home. I'm sorry. I'll be smoking too. Uh, yeah. I want to put that, you know, shout out to growth, especially I love seeing growth in men. No ditty. Uh, and this young man <laughs> takes to his, uh, he, t- he takes to his IG story and gives us a recap synopsis of uh, the actions his baby mother is uh, par- partaking in. He says, I didn't know my child's mother stripped or did OnlyFans. That'd be the worst, right? When you don't know she got the OnlyFans, that'd be the worst. You'd be like, damn, you could have just told me. I could, I you could have just told me and been like, yo, go get your money. I wouldn't have said that. Or he says, he says, Pierre, too. He said, I didn't know my mother's child stripped or did OnlyFans or was a part of a PND rollout. Sucks when you know your girl a part of some shit, right? I mean, hmm. they're not together, right? This is baby mom. Probably, yeah, this is B, yeah. I don't know. A little investigative journalism. Okay, I'm listening. This girl, Mammy Next Door, yeah, has a spine tattoo. Okay, okay. Oh, she got a spine tattoo? It's she does. Photoshop, though, no? they can do photos. I don't know. I don't know. Who, who said it's this what does girl? What she look? Can I see what she looks like? Damn, I was comparing kids and shit. It looked like the nigga kid, too. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's just a fucked up way... <laughs> to find out that your baby mom's is doing anything productive in life, it might not like, be. Her. She could have been a no, face model. Don't say that. I'm gonna be mad. Could have been, been a face she model. Could have been a hand model. The world don't need to see y'all. No, arch. don't say. But that. I'm not mad Dang. because I think she looked really good. I think you know what I do want to yeah. applaud PND for doing. Yeah, yeah. Highlighting natural bodies. Mm, I right. feel like we don't do that's enough right. of that. That's mm-hmm. right. You know what I'm. He left. All of the tiger stripes, all of the stretch marks. <laughs> what we like. The thighs. I, I look at the thigh to ass to back ratio. Come on. Because man. the way that mm-hmm. the arch is, there's a crease. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, her, and her waist is super thin. There's so a like, crease yeah, yeah, where yeah. the thumbs go on the lower back. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. So shout out to PD. Wait, wait, sure. I'm, I'm on a story. It's right here, Reggie. I'm bugging. You clicked on her story? That, that's her, wait, hers, that's her story? Yeah, it's click, I just clicked on her story. It says, uh, Miami Next Door for Party Next Door album cover, PND4. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, she, 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 we're she back says, on track. We're back the, on track. I get back to the story now. Back says, to growth. And the cover is out, my body T. Okay, she said her Damn, body. Okay, confirm. So, my bad, guys. Got, we go. We need the journalists on the, on the panel. Thank you for that, because I was about to be no, mad as hell. No, you're the real journalist. No, no, no. You the real journalist. <laughs> no, you the real journalist. The Spider Man meme is me looking at Reggie. No, because I was incorrect. Oh, so I'm Kendrick? I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah, I was wrong. nigga, fuck the big three, nigga. <laughs> nah, no, it's big me. Wait, no, hold on. Mm-hmm. Wait, but I don't mm-hmm. like how yeah. literally her comments are all yeah. hating. They're like, oh my god, they the are? album cover is crazy. As a as a mom, like why that. would you like? Like, there's so many comments that are like shaming her. Those are women. It gotta be women, women hating. Yeah, it yeah, gotta be no, women. Like, it's all women. Like, crazy. I, I hope your daughter doesn't wind up like you. Like, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. So you know, at the top of this episode, I said women are the most vocal with support. Yeah, <laughs> they be the most with that hate shit too. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and and, and it be covert too. Covert. It be, it be covert. Girl no, that's hate. Covert. Girl hate. Nah, girl hate the covert. Because how Tiana Trump is known to be top five dick suckers on the planet, <laughs> but she found a way to hate on this woman's arch. That's real. Why would that's you crazy. comment that? Like, like shut up, hell, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it like, goes both ways. I guess. Let, let her get an arch on. But I will say, I am glad my mom is not on social showing booty. I would have been traumatized. I can agree. Okay, right. I got to finish this Haiti baby shit real quick, y'all. I promise. Okay, the last slide. Okay. He says. I'm not posting to shame or humiliate her because I know she's living her dream. Maturing is realizing you don't own nobody. (laughs) That's maturing. Yeah, it is. Live your life. Look what niggas think. Live your life. Live your life. Live your life. Love your life. And keep faith in God. When you, when you, hey man, when you put your arch over on the bed, keep faith in God. Keep that in the back of your head. (laughs) Word. Hmm. Keep that in the back of your head when you do all that shit. Yeah, I'm I'm with him. Salute to Haiti, ba- Haiti I baby. Respect, I respect what he said, I but do. also it's like salute to growth. He hating. Does he? Did he have to post that? <laughs> Who fucking yeah, cares? That's that ego in him. Who cares what you think? Like, Reg, you gotta think about <laughs> no it. Right? Offense, no offense, Reg, no offense. All no the offense. homies is probably hear him though, right? Think about okay, it. Okay, male ego, like... male ego. Again, you're not a male, right? So it's hard for you to understand it. Male ego, all your homies hitting you, Yo, all the like, niggas damn, that knew you was bro. with her. 
Facts. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might have been on a close but friend he had to show. Make, he had to make a statement like, bro, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> he had to make a statement. Yeah, he should have kept that in the talk. <laughs> should have yeah, just kept it. Just take that Yeah, just take the L. Just take that The car was already out. You can't change it. First off, nobody knew who she was. Yeah. So if we had to do the research to know who she was, yeah. imagine how obsolete you were to the world. Like nobody gave a fuck about you. <laughs> so, yeah. Like for real, think about that. Shot the Haiti baby, man. It's growth. That's growth right there. Nah. There's a lot of people out there thinking they got ownership over somebody they deal with or previously have dealt with. So, you know, I like seeing when men just understand, like, you can't stop the OnlyFans link. We ain't <laughs> going win. Win. No way. I can't. I can't you said that. can't stop, so it made me think of like can't stop, won't stop. You uh -oh. know what I'm saying? Like, nah, just, I don't know what you're saying. When you say <laughs> can't stop, who do nah. you think of? Huh? Can't stop, won't stop. Hmm? Get guap, 10 white toes on the toy flip flops. Shout uh -huh. to Sweetie. She, she, she <laughs> talking about Sweetie. She <laughs> talking nah, about Sweetie. Nah, nah, you see? Going, <laughs> but, so, so we uh -huh. just throwing out catalog? Nah, who throwing out catalogs? All right, so when I say can't stop, won't stop, who you think of? Can't stop, won't stop. Uh. I don't, he got mad names. <laughs> Brother Love, okay. Puff, Nasty, P. P. Freaky, P, Diddy, P, P. It's a bunch of names. Little Sex Worker. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cancelable pod. <laughs> Guys, we all have corporate jobs. I love 50 Cent. <laughs> nah, but for real. Shout out, shout out to 50 Thanks, Cent for just Menace. being consistent. Yo, he um, has not missed a news update. Nah, nah, nah. Shout out oh to 50 Cent for being consistent. Little sex work. We got to get him a news platform. We got to get him a news platform. And then, <laughs> yes. I yeah. think somebody yeah. had, well, he had This Is 50. But, nah, but that I, wasn't news. That wasn't news. <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> That was beef. Oh, that nigga made a magazine just to beef with niggas and interview niggas' baby moms. That's crazy. Just when he got into beef. I How? love the consistency. He's yeah. always been like this. Like. Yes. Yeah. LSW is fucking crazy. Crazy. Oh, nah, you, yeah, and the caption is nuts. Oh, nah, you little sex worker. You little sex worker. Um, a lot to be revealed, y'all. A lot to be revealed, but yeah. um, there are a few things that were revealed when it came to Diddy. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things. So a lot of people are feeling more comfortable speaking out on Diddy. This time around, for sure. This time around. And then a lot yeah. of things are also being resurfaced. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so there was a clip, and we don't have to stay on it, but there is a clip. <laughs> That I wanted to play because I haven't seen this clip in many places, um, but it is very interesting. So let's take a look. Sean Combs, Puff Daddy, yeah, P Diddy, whatever you call himself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The Boule, the Boule is a branch of the Illuminati. Oh, you go. Okay, it's the black people. I had settlement with Sean. Okay, and he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys. Which are Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard lots of business. Because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the on the phone and on the TV with people and stuff. And I, would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I called Herpes and I came back and I sued for the Herpes and won. But they didn't did Mark Garibos and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Leon's here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally and it's possible I I threw everything out as possible. I can't produce a copy. I saw the longer version of that interrogation yeah. before. Same. Right? Yeah. And he goes on for about an hour or two. That was the guy who was brought in because he shot up a hotel, right? Yeah. yeah. He, they caught him on something else and uh, asked questions on Diddy. I don't know how long... Uh, when that, when that, uh, this was, was, was about released. 10 years ago, I believe. There you go. This, oh, this came out. oh, it was 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, 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 it's no, not this, super recent. This isn't super recent, but mm. everything that he's saying is, you know, in regards to some of the reports mm -hmm. that are coming out today. So, uh, like Alex said, to be developed. Oh, man. He was definitely a dick dungeon man, dungeon <laughs> yeah. dick man. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Damn. We might have he to. He said it himself. I was a sex slave. <laughs> are you talking about that nigga? Oh, yeah, 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 the dick yeah. dungeon. We might have to put that on the screen while people are watching it because, like, it's yeah. like not hard. To, I don't know if I didn't have the subtitles. I don't know if mm. I would have understood what he was saying. He has an okay. accent. He's he's from somewhere in Africa. He's mm -hmm. a, but he is African. I know he doesn't seem to be African, I but think, he is. I think he might be South African. Okay. Right. okay. See, did he like flavors? <laughs> no discrimination. He like flavors. Damn. Yeah. 
But I, uh, <sighs> he did that shit. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, I, you nah, what you said, Pierre? <laughs> Academics uh, did a live a couple nights ago. Yeah. And, you know, for those of you who kind of still are getting, uh, I guess, attuned to who Ak is, he does like deep dives on especially on stuff, especially that's within the culture. Um, he did, he did a live last night where he was talking about um, I forget the guy's name, but he was pretty much doing the research on how that guy was brought into questioning, uh, and this was ten years ago as well. He was brought into questioning uh, on something else, and then another group of people came in to interrogate him, and. Th- they also asked him about, you know, P. Diddy and some of his uh, sexual desires. Mm. Now, Ak was saying, hey, if this was 10 years ago, imagine the case that they already have or have had on him from way long ago. Exactly. And, and how, like, the Cassie stuff and the Lil Rod stuff and some of the um, other lawsuits more of recent were kind of the thing that broke the icing on the, uh, well, not, not broke the camels, pretty much broke the camels on the, uh, what am I saying? Pretty much brought everything to what it is now, yeah. to where they, you know, went in his in his house and uh, did all the uh, research and stuff like that. Hmm. Listen, man, I saw a lot. P. I saw a lot of uh, people saying where did he's friends this week, and I think that was the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> They was at the party, duh. <laughs> oh, that's why they're quiet. What the fuck is we talking about right now, bro? They don't want to be maybe implicated in some of these that's things. Why, of course, that's why they're not fucking going to come out, come out and like say anything and like put yeah. the spotlight on them. Imagine, imagine being a part of something, right? But not understanding the magnitude of how far it went. Mm-hmm. Like what really happened? What really happened? But you were already, you already was a part of the journey and story, mm-hmm. right? And you didn't say anything, so. So now you got to sit with it. Damn. <laughs> like, damn, how many others before me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many Le- other times has this occurred? You heard Lecrae? I heard Lecrae. It's a, there's an unlisted video of Lecrae on YouTube where he speaks about attending a Diddy party. And niggas highlight him like, yo, dog, it might be your best bet to get up out of here by 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Up in here, it get a little different. And the video Lecrae decides to stay. It says around 1230. He walks down the hallway. He starts seeing some niggas kissing. They start getting real touchy feely because he keep going down the hallway. It's more of them keep going. So he got out of there. So again, there is just a plethora of these of these. And again, Lecrae, if you if you're not aware with who Lecrae is, Lecrae is a a, a, a gospel rapper. rapper. Is that is that the correct term, Pierre? Yeah. Christian yeah. or gospel? Chris, yes, Christian yes, rapper. right. He's a Christian a Christian artist. Yeah, but he primarily raps. And you know, when you think about someone who's close to God. You don't necessarily think a Diddy party, right? But mm-hmm. again, it's the industry. Yeah. And, and if a if a Christian artist was able to be at a Diddy party, just imagine how many other people have attended and stayed past one a.m. Yeah. And he did. Well, it's funny because um, referencing that Lecrae clip, he said that he was given advice by an actor, uh, Brandon T. Jackson. Yeah. And Brandon told him, "Hey, at." 1 a.m. or whatever time, it, you might want to leave because things happen. So I found this clip of Brandon speaking about who gave him that advice. He always told me. He said, Denzel. We'd mm-hmm. be at the parties. He said, you leave leave 30 minutes for the devil get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Denzel knew. And, and, and when he would say that, I will always remember that Denzel would leave the parties early. Mm-hmm. And I followed Denzel out. I'm out. Mm. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because when you leave 30 minutes for the devil get there, it ain't no wrong with going to the parties. Even Christ party with the sinners. You know what I mean? Mm. But when you when you leave 30 minutes for the devil get there, you know, you able to have your integrity. I meant mm. off screen. It's not what you do on screen. What you do off screen is more important. Dang, so, so everybody yeah. knew. Yo, like, interesting fact. For the longest, too. It, interesting fact. That yeah. Courtney, Courtney just uh, reminded me of. Mm. So Brandon T. Jackson is from Mount Vernon, New York. Oh, that's your uh, sorry, sorry, Denzel is from Mount Vernon, New York. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. so is Diddy. Ah, that is very, so very true. They've so known each other for a quite very time. long time. Damn. Wow. And if it's anyone that maybe might know what part what he partakes in, it might be a nigga from your old hood. But sometimes it's just like industry standards. And there's some people who play in that arena and there's some people who don't. Right? If you're somebody who seems to be of a Denzel Washington, you have no choice but to be at some of these events and some of these parties. Yeah. Because when you reach a certain level of success, these are your peers now, mm-hmm. right? And so this is almost standard. It's kind of like he's throwing the biggest party of the yeah, weekend. Yeah. So yeah. you're you're gonna find yourself in certain rooms with certain people if you're of a certain status and have a certain talent, right? That's why I wasn't mad if T D Jakes was in there. Somebody had to bless the party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
He might not. We have just known. said Christ partied among sinners, right? Yeah, he did. And and to, <laughs> to piggyback off of that, Lecrae did say that somebody else that was there uh, also mentioned to him that it was good to see his light there, and it kind of like got you um, inspired him a little bit. Got you. So it's it's not uncommon for these people to be in these spaces, but then there's also another side of it where it's like, all right. And this is when they talk about the whole secret society and secret parties and conspiracies. It's like, oh no, we about the party party. Yeah. Damn. Diddy, from what they say, hey, we was talking about that fab clip <laughs> earlier. Like we didn't party finish. Party party. We didn't finish what that clip said, you right? You gotta tell him no. Puff said, Puff said, you know, on that drink chance episode, yo, Fab, what up, man? Like, we ain't never party before. Fab said, Nah, we party for my birthday before. <laughs> nigga sound is, I never heard Fab sound scared in my no, life. One did. of the realest <laughs> niggas I've like, known. Like, don't talk about it. Don't talk I about it. never knew Fab the, since when I was coming up. The nigga said, Puff said, nah, we need to party party. You know what I mean? <laughs> that got quiet. Yeah. yeah. Jitter, so, yeah. It was an uncomfortable yeah. quiet, oh, an deep. uncomfortable <laughs> silence. Uh, Very ominous. uncomfortable. Yeah. It was ominous. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, uh, I, I thought that was kind of, and it's dope to see, you know, certain people take advice from somebody like a, a Denzel Washington. And yeah. that's why OGs and veterans are important just in life and mentors and people like that because they've seen things that you have yet to see and they can kind of steer you away. But the yeah. good OGs, because I, I do think Diddy was groomed. Okay. I can see that yeah, too. I, see I think that. Diddy was you, groomed. You want to go further on that or you just want to keep it keep um, it right there? I don't know how much more I know, but I, I kind of elaborated a little bit on it last episode, mm -hmm. right? The whole sex ring I think is way deeper than Diddy. I think he plays a key role in it. Oh, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, Again, being the face to everyone, mm -hmm. you got someone who throws a bunch of parties, who is also very, who has relationships with politicians, <laughs> musicians, artists, Disciples, actors, athletes. world leaders, athletes, distinguished members of society. If there is any operation going on yeah. with people who don't want to be seen front facingly, that is the dude you make the face. Mm -hmm. For like he's, sure. he's not like the sole operator of this like sex stuff. He is nasty as hell, and I, and I believe he did a lot of that. But mm -hmm. I, I do think it's 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 way deeper. Oh Jesus! I think it's I think there's people that groomed him who don't want this to get out. Oh, so I guess there's there's two things at play because I, I guess the thing that he got his home rated for yeah. was the sex trafficking, um, which means that obviously that's illegal. But there's also an aspect where maybe he was just a freaky man. Right, but I guess the police don't show up at your door just for being a super freak. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, nah, not at all. I mean, not at all. if it was definitely a lot not of the fed, not the police, the feds. If it was a lot of sexual assault involved and he it, was being arrested, but I think it, it is because of the sex trafficking and the, the coercion. You know, the coercion with the sex trafficking. You know, yeah, did he oh got his God. hands full, man? This shit is even uh, trickling down to his kids, to his son. Mm -hmm. I saw a report today that something came out uh, with his son, the one uh, Christian King, Combs, King Christian Combs. Yeah, he had some allegations mm -hmm. against him. Oh wow, y'all yeah, know what those allegations were? Nah, I didn't nah. see them. They they were in the vein of, do you know? Um, he he's being accused. There's a pen. There's a looming yeah. lawsuit. I don't know if it's like out yet or like someone like was initially filing. All hip hop said that they obtained court documents. That he's being accused of like sexually assaulting and yep. drugging a girl. Yup. He so, literally said a word for it. I just found it sexually assaulted and drugging a woman in a crazy I lawsuit. don't know if it's like the lawsuit was filed or like they Damn. got like mm -hmm. an early reporting. I don't know that yet. Please do not quote me, but mm -hmm. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what what happens when you're somebody of Diddy's magnitude and, and this is what you subject yourself to? Now it leaves your loved ones in harm's way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because now it just opens the door for everybody to make a claim, whether it be true or false. Um, a lot of these things may not be highlighted. It because you know it just wasn't people weren't really acknowledging these things and mm -hmm. talking about it. But now mm -hmm. you kind of put your your family in harm's way because you was a freaky man. Yeah. Like you got to control the freak. You have not controlled your freak since the eighties. That ass. That's a problem. I like, told you decades of this. Like, like and that's and, yeah. and, and 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 you know it's it's funny because we talk about fame and it's always like two sides of fame. There's another clip that I want to play from y'all. This is from our guy Reggie. So I want to hear your thoughts on this because I know how our you guy, feel about our guy Reggie. No, our guy. Oh, comma. quote, comma, yeah. Oh, Will Smith. Reggie, I'm sorry. Will Smith. Yeah, yeah. Yay. So let's hear Will. Love being famous. Like, oh. it makes me feel safe. It's like somebody knows who I am anywhere I go on earth. Like any street I walk on, somebody knows who I am. And I believe in the basic goodness of humanity. So I always 
feel safe. I feel like somebody will help me. That is a very interesting perspective. I feel like you don't hear that a lot. Like people talk about, especially with his level of fame, literally worldwide fame. I would think a lot of people are always like, man, I don't want this anymore. It's too much. Like I can't even do normal shit. But for him to say that, that's pretty interesting. That's a very like positive way to look at it. Yeah, I understand the concept. I, but you don't I believe truly, him? I don't know if I believe him. Especially with all know. the shit he's Maybe been. Maybe that's the way he is approaching his life. I, like, would, I would hope so. I would really hope so. Because I don't know. When all of this shit was coming out with his wife and when he was in the, in the news from back to back week, et cetera, mm-hmm. it didn't really seem like he liked being famous. I don't know. I interpret I it be differently wrong, because yeah. when, when that Y'all Jada shit, when everyone was like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Will, oh my God, how the fuck are you letting this happen? Yeah. He was with it. He was like, this is me and Jada. This is our crazy relationship. Uh, so that's why I was like, why? I don't feel sorry for Will Smith. He likes this. Like, he likes sharing his life. Yeah. He likes sharing, hey, this is how we do our open relationship. Like, I like being famous. I like everybody in my business. Like, that's how I always interpreted it and how he approaches shit. And I feel like but he's embraced it. He's right, though. There are just some famous people, when you see them, like, if I see Robert De Niro in the hood. <laughs> You'll help him. Like, Yo, what's good, gang? Like, you good, bro. What's good? Imagine scar? being like, good. Like, Imagine being good everywhere. everywhere you go. Yeah. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler yeah. good anywhere. <laughs> anywhere he goes. He good. Yeah. Anywhere what is he baggy ass shorts? He can ball. Slide. Like, Meet him at the ball court. He's good. All right, so, so <laughs> he who good. are some universally famous people who's mm-hmm. not good who's in not, no hood? And not Tekashi. good in no hood? Takashi. <laughs> he's not globally famous. All Kelly. Oh, my bad. Oh, you know what's bad when Kel's got to defend you. And that's how I know, Diddy, you was too freaky. When- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, Kelly is the last wife. nigga I need to defend, to defend my you. name. Look who defended like, the nigga. Like, nigga <laughs> said, yo, none of Pop's friends defended him, but Kel's is. No. <laughs> we are living in a boondocks episode right now. Yes. Crazy. There's yes. no way. Like, Nickel? Y'all want to hear about from Kel's? No. It's crazy. That's what I say, motherfuckers. Motherfuckers gonna be out there laughing and, make, and making comedian jokes and doing all that <laughs> other shit on the radio and everything else, but they ass could be next. They ass could be next. What's so funny yeah. about yeah. that? Yeah. So yeah. They so stupid, they don't even realize the move that's going on. I the mean, move. it's crazy. Yeah. 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 That's why I don't believe none of the shit. I mean, no, you can tell me about the funny. You can that. tell me about anybody in now. You can tell me the, on the news the weather is the sky is blue. I'm not gonna believe the shit. Because no. right. I'm, no, I'm, I'm in it now. Because I'm in it now. Because I'm in that shit. Yeah. Yeah. They could be next. Yeah, Kobe, you hear the nigga? <laughs> I never met somebody that did everything they said they did and said, nah, I ain't in it. And nigga said, nah, I ain't in that shit. Nigga said, they just be doing. Hey, hey, nigga. Hey. <laughs> that nigga said, I don't give a fuck if the news reporter got a baby. What the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck is you talking about, homie? Yo, oh, Kelly, again, bro. Every Kelly. week I get on here and I got so bad about these fucking Capricorn niggas. Like, shut the fuck up. It's so fucked up because a video has came up on YouTube, my YouTube algorithm. I was with the homies the other day. It was in the studio. And you know how YouTube, like, shit just plays into the next thing? Yeah. And it was one of his live performances. <laughs> And you, all you could do was just shake your head at all of the wasted greatness. Damn. Just shake your head. I was just so disappointed. Hey, my body like, was shaking. What <laughs> are we talking about, It's bro. bad. It's in his jokes. Like, why'd you have to ruin it for us? Just, just like, terrible. It's, he's terrible. Oh, bro. Because I just don't understand this. Everybody denounce wow. your freakiness wow. now. Savon, so, turn that shit off. America. Savon, turn that shit off. Why is he doing? You can't Savon. be the nigga that you have your face. Turn that shit off. Hey. Savon. I'm not about to be on camera with this one. Off it. Off it. But hold up, bro. Off it. America. I don't want to leave. Stop this nonsense. America. Stop this nonsense. America. Stop your problem. What's your problem? Because that's not the, the nigga you need to defend you, bro. Nah, you but hold, that, listen to the passion. That's crazy. Let's just, like, the, the harmony. <laughs> Not it. He, no. was, he was mad off key. <laughs> sound, sound like Fergie. He was fighting. Like, oh, oh, guys, he admits it sounded bad. <laughs> nah, Good it was a variation. Sound back. like Fergie. <laughs> like, come Fergie. on, that's not the dude you need to defend you in a time like yeah. this. I'm fighting for my fucking <laughs> life. That's like, no. that's not it. That's not it. That's Life is really a simulation. Like, oh, they, look, they, look at the sure. material. Like, they did show a <sighs> uh, video of Diddy kind of like partying to himself. 
Nah, that, that's not party. That's just a nigga enjoying a blunt. I know a nigga that <laughs> I, I could identify with a nigga just enjoying a blunt he, by he the crib. Man, man. Yeah, that's he's, just a nigga enjoying a blunt. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy knows. It's, it's, yeah. Diddy knows. Yo, um, Diddy knows. The Sloan Bella lady. Uh, a few months ago, she did wind up saying that he wasn't gonna get arrested. Oh, when when uh, when they came to yeah. look for he him, may not when, get arrested. When she but she said all this that was gonna happen happened. You also said he wasn't gonna get arrested. Sometimes Damn. the information being out there is enough, and when you have the, the the resources and the money that he has, a lot of these people they don't go to jail. A lot of these people they don't go to prison because oh, nah, he's gonna go to jail. I think Peter, I, I could be wrong the, with just with the Sloan Bella thing. I think she said. That when Cassie um dropped her lawsuit yeah, the day one. the day after Sloan Bella was like he's not gonna go to jail for this yes so mm. I'm I'm pretty confident that's what she was referring to okay. but then now later on maybe he could go you to jail you wanna know you wanna know how I know he's going to jail and I I I because the feds are already on it actually if you was fucking with minors I don't give a fuck what your fate is I'm gonna that's keep it a right. bug I'm like I'm not on none of that shit I really don't care some of you like yo you can't wait your no if you was fucking with minors bro like. You, you sick. Need, you're fucking sick. Yeah, I hope we're on all, all on the same page with this, guys. Right. So, hopefully, okay. There's, hopefully, there's no other page to be. On. There's no other right. page to be on. There's no, there's no other page. Yeah. No I'm talking to the world, like yeah, guys, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's it, no other page. To there's be on. literally not. Now, what made Diddy Diddy was the ability to market his name for products mm -hmm. and for companies and for ventures. What the fuck you gonna sell next to Diddy now? His whole career has been based off selling. Whatever he wants to do in conjunction with his name. Like he's a businessman. He got to double down on it. What do you mean? What? What do you mean? Like, no, legit. Wait, what? <laughs> if he comes out of this, however, un he doesn't go to jail. Let's just say he doesn't okay. go to jail, he doesn't go to prison, uh -huh. which means he's a free man, which means there's opportunities at some point. Because some oh, somebody's always going to dance with the devil, mm -hmm. right? Somebody's going to see an opportunity in Diddy Dang, no matter who what. Who is going to... It, it, it's a thing. What I'm saying, if he Damn. does get that opportunity... He has to just double down on like his lifestyle. What the fuck do you mean, man? The real lifestyle. <laughs> what? Oh, How? I see. I see where you're going. I see where you're going. He has to become this a porn star. What it nah, is? He's got to admit that he. That's is. what. Hey, hey, guys. <laughs> I fucked up. I'm sorry. I went through the legal process. Whatever. I I, I got indicted. I oh paid my. my gosh. I'm just saying, if he goes out unscathed. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not claiming his innocence. I think the nigga <laughs> did that shit. But if he does somehow. <laughs> Somebody's gonna the, be like, "Yo, we got a party, party, and let's party, what? party He's for throw real." Sex parties? And let's mark. He got it. That's the only way. <laughs> he gotta promote the so dick the rebrand is sex parties. You know the feds ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you can have consensual <laughs> sex parties. Now, nah, freak off's done after this. Not his. Freak off's done after he's this. He's too freaky, especially his. Oh, he's no. too freaky. Oh, if know. anything, he's too this, freaky. This was a this was a domino effect to anybody else that likes sex debates. People out there that like sex capades and probably are involved with numerous amounts of people and don't know by definition what sex trafficking means. Sex. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I think it's the end of freak. And I think that's what it is. Yeah. That's because you can be a freaky ass nigga. No, you can't. I denounce mine. Listen, <laughs> you can be. <laughs> I was it just don't to me. be consensual. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know what's so hard about all these people doing things with consent. You mean without consent? <laughs> No, no, why it's so hard consent, for them right? to do it with consent? Oh, oh, uh, you get what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. Why is it like you, you, why? Yeah. Like, like bro, you said, just you're the vibes. Just get the consent. But you know why. <laughs> you, like that, nah. like you can, what you, the fuck? Y'all know why. I don't know why. Because they're terrible people? I absolutely do not understand why you would do anything like that without somebody's you consent. Told me, you told me earlier he's been freaky since the 80s. That looks to me uh, like a person that thinks they're impenetrable. It's like times right? are different back then type shit. Not just times are different, right? Power tripping. Power tripping. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. And there's only Power certain tripping. people on that list. There's only certain people on that list that really go, my power isn't enough. I need to surpass this. Yeah. I but for common crazy folks, shit. it'd be enough yeah, for most right. people. Yeah. But yeah, for them, crazy. certain people, some certain ones, they're like, nah, I need He's more. He's crazy. Like, I need more. Yeah. You got to keep going. That makes sense. You know? I'm thinking like, there's promoted sex parties in New York City that you could just walk in. It's like a thing. It's a community, yeah. Yeah, see. No. But well, the, <laughs> the, standard, the standards for those are going to change after this. They're yeah, going to have yeah. to get more strict and actually get like cons like real consent. But I think like what... <laughs> That's what, a like, thing. Okay, maybe private... I'm sorry, Reggie. Finish what you were saying. What Sabal yeah. was saying about how like, you know, the rebrand is coming. If he yeah. walks away a free man, he's going to have to just double down on his lifestyle. Mm. Although, obviously, I don't fucking want this to happen because he's like a problematic man. <laughs> I think there's a possibility that Savon is right because it's just like... 
what else the do you do? sick world and shit like this happens. Like people get away with sh- terrible shit and just live. If like R. Kelly got out of prison today, he could go on. He could do a tour. A tour, yeah. I'm just saying I'm it's, serious, a sick, it's a sick yeah, world. Like, there's a there's could. somebody for everybody. It's just a sick mm-hmm. world. So, so, like, yeah. I can see Diddy coming out of this. Okay, so maybe I'm with, saying something oh, different. Money. So you're saying he'll be able to make some money. I think what I'm saying is he'll never be back. At the number he- Welcomed into the culture? I'm sorry. Maybe I cut you off. No, no, you're fine. What are you saying? I'm saying making money. Like, again, remember how I just said how his name has been his selling point. And he accompanies it with all of his ventures. When the Diddy name takes a hit, you're right. Only the core diddlers- I'm gonna show up for him. Yeah. <laughs> but Puff like power. Yeah. And he likes being on top. He likes being number one. He likes making a lot of money. I'm sure he loves. Yeah, you know, that's their group. Only, 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 only the, the core diddlers. Only the core diddlers. Those and you the, said it so seriously and just they, kept talking. Like they out there. <laughs> you know right? Say, so right. Group. They will show up if you they will show up. Yeah, he'll yeah. never get back to, to that, that magnitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. With like a hundred brands on his name. Impossible. Everything's got a subgroup. But my thing, like, yeah. did, did you did you know? That Will I Am was a partner in Beats. Nah, Beats had. Oh, fun. you're saying he's gonna partner with people? And Actually, not, yeah, not he could be a silent partner. He was a so. silent partner in okay, okay, Beats okay. headphones. He always in them commercials. This whole time, we thought it was Dr. Dre, and it was Will I Am. Wait, what? It was Dre too. It was both of them. Okay, <laughs> but we didn't equate it. We thought yeah, it was just we Dr. just identified Dre with Dre. Right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I know, and, and okay. again, when you have these now. relationships with these people in sure. this industry. If there's a world where he walks away unscathed yeah. or he has his freedom, he has people who he probably protected throughout the process who are still in these very, very, very high positions. Yo, we just watched on the Nickelodeon doc. Yeah. There were predators. There were sex offenders were who were jobs. legally identified as sex offenders who went from one kid's network, one kid's TV show yeah, to another. another kid's TV show mm-hmm. because of his network and because of the people that he knew who had the same interests as him who allowed him to get another opportunity mm-hmm. to touch and groom young children. Yeah, people just begin getting away with shit so like, honestly there's no way in this world that diddy if he were to come out of this unscathed yeah didn't get another opportunity to earn money yeah. wealth and, we'll he, and, wealth. Scary. and he could still make people just because if, if he does get arrested and then yeah. you know his name tarnished and everything that doesn't mean he hasn't learned or does, that doesn't mean he doesn't still know his business savvy or still doesn't have his business savvy. That's a fact. That won't leave him. Yeah. Again, well, I guess we'll just have to see how this unfolds. Uh, another okay. thing I wanted to talk about before we get out of here that I want to see how it unfolds as well, uh, the Neptunes. The Neptunes are disputing over the name. I don't like this story. Yeah, me either. Pharrell and Chad Hugo in legal dispute over the rights to the names to Nep, uh, to the name Neptunes. Uh, do, 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 do. Music producer Chad Hugo has accused his longtime friend. That's that's what sucks the most with this, right? Mm-hmm. Doing business with your friends, um, making beautiful art together, and then never imagining somewhere down the line that you guys would be at odds with something y'all created, right? Uh, his longtime friend Pharrell Williams of he accuses his longtime friend for, uh, Pharrell Williams of fraudulently seeking sole control over trademarks for the Neptunes. Uh, the name of the lucrative songwriting and producing duo, which Hugo and Williams formed over 30 years ago. I uh, want to read a little bit further. The notice of the opposition filed last week with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office by Hugo and his attorney uh, claimed Williams filed trademark applications for, this, for the name for his own benefit without including Hugo and therefore committed fraud and mm-hmm. acted, quote, in bad faith. That's just sad to hear. I don't know if I have any comments because yeah. I think as a culture, we all know Pharrell to be a real stand-up guy. Um, these don't sound like stand-up actions. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> it just goes back to like, it's, it's always capitalism, right? That's mm-hmm. like the core money. to a lot of these things, money. Mm-hmm. It's just like, yo, you have so much money. You have obtained so much wealth. Like what else you're be? literally one of the richest. If not, I would easily put my money on him being top two to three richest hip-hop producers of all time like i don't even think it's a question i think it's dr dre i think it's pharrell and then i think it's everybody else he also pivoted went into fashion right he's a director at louis now right yeah Mm -hmm. like he does movie soundtracks he gets the biggest records works with the biggest artists like 
it's just no world mm -hmm. that I could imagine having to have a legal dispute with my friend mm -hmm. when we both made it. And mm -hmm. I'm the one that's really up. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like if this is true, uh, Pharrell got to let Chad eat. Yeah, like, for uh, well, again, we don't know what's true or not, but if it is true, it probably speaks to what their relationship has been like over the last few years, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I have known Pharrell to been making a lot of beats separately from Chad in the last few years, but like, he's always done that, yeah, he's always it's done been that. The Neptunes and Pharrell, Pharrell, yeah, yeah, that's true. But when was the last time we got something from the Neptunes? The Neptunes, as far as I know, Pharrell. they haven't been active for like years almost, right? Like. It, and even when time. they were at their peak, Pharrell has always time. been his own entity. Yeah. Right. Right? Like, there's never been one, or it's not like an outcast thing yeah. where they're a group and then one just does the thing. Ah, like, last time I saw the <laughs> Neptunes was on the Brent Fire song, 2021, featuring Drake, uh, Wasting Time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember that. That right. was 2021. So, that's pretty recent. That's pr that yeah, fairly trash. recent. <laughs> that's pretty recent. It's terrible. But. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I hope we don't know the ins and outs of it, but from mm -hmm. what we do know, I don't want to look at Pharrell like a shithead, and that's a oh, shithead yeah, nah. move. Yeah, that's yeah. a shithead for, move. Bro. For, like we said, if it's true, because he's up. Like, yeah, you made happy. <laughs> yeah, you what? never got to do has, anything else. What has Chad said about this? Has uh, that been made? He public? said, uh, "Run me my money, bitch. <laughs> just give me my money. <laughs> no, Run me my money." Now nah, he's basically just saying that uh, he went about it in a fraudulent way. So it's like Chad said that. Yeah, Chad said that. Through his, through his lawyer. And yeah. just, just to throw in there, because, you know, we have a Pusha T fan to the left of me. <laughs> Push commented, there's not a dollar involved in this stupidity. Just a lawyer looking to drain Chad's pockets. This is unreal. That's what Pusha T said. He's a very frequent collaborator with the mm -hmm. Neptunes, obviously. So Looking to drain. He thinks, he thinks this whole thing is very stupid. Well, I agree with okay. Push. Mm -hmm. Of course. I mean, that's a little, I mean, I bet you do. But that sounds like a little one-sided push, like. You ain't say nothing about Pharrell and the, the accusations. You you talking about, oh, yo, Chad's lawyer just trying to get money out that nigga. I mean, that is what lawyers do. But if he does have a claim and 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 what's being alleged here, I think it's <laughs> I don't think it's just a lawyer draining his money. Uh, real quick, I want to end on this. Williams Company P PWIP Holdings LLC submitted several applications in October 2022 to trademark the Neptunes for things like clothing, music, live mm. entertainment electronic publications, and more. It was around the same time he applied to trademark the name of his music festival, Something in the Water, and Strawberry Moon. Yeah. I guess these are, those, that is a fact. Those we'll are see. facts. So, so we'll basically, that will be like <clears throat> us yeah. having, you know, beautiful five years of potting together and then yeah. me hearing one day Savon's trying to fucking trademark Need to Know Without Us. Yep. Insanity. Is that basically what's happening? That's basically what it'd be yeah. like. Yep. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> I'm you? greedy. <laughs> yeah. Can we niggas. pinky promise to never dispute over money? Absolutely. We could absolutely do absolutely. that. Absolutely. I know that I know Money or women. That I mean, I don't know. And you don't like women. So that know. goes for me and you. Bro, I never do anything <laughs> with your chicks. <laughs> Money. I'm just saying, no, but I know, that's, like, the that's the thing. That is, everybody, that is, that everybody. Is. Look at drinking Metro. <laughs> yeah, allegedly, right? So yeah. weird. I'm everybody sorry, who, yeah. you know, we met on the pod, but we're, we're friends. We're friends. Yeah. Right. They always say what breaks them apart is money. Like, please let us never get, like, please. But I, you want to know what helps us a little bit? Real <sighs> shit? We don't pocket watch. Yeah. I don't think it's in our personalities to pocket watch. Like I don't think we was really even raised like that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So for us, we really do live our separate lives mm -hmm. outside of the podcast universe and when we record episodes, etc. Yeah. You know, I yeah. think that is the difference. But yeah. when you once you start doing the pocket watch and shit. Shit, yeah, I'm glad that niggas don't pocket. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, just, I do sometimes. Yeah, I just, oh shit, <laughs> but, 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 already, no, but, but there's kind of we already talked about this on yeah. patreoncom yeah. Slash need to know <laughs> Oh yeah, we did, we did. Nah, nah. I can tell you when I started uh, pocket watching save on. Damn, nigga, I just said we don't do that. Here, nah. all y'all niggas go. Nah, here, here here go. It was today. It was today. <laughs> oh, he oh, with the with thing, the BMW. That thing outside. I oh, drove man, up to the studio. That, that thing that. outside, oh, right? He got it. I, I ain't never seen that one before. Yeah. Ain't seen, I ain't ain't seen, seen that one a lot, right? That's nah, that pocket watch. That's some new shit. That's some new shit. That's some new shit, man. That's some new shit. Something like that. But we'll have contracts in place. I mean, I think. Nah, for sure, though. I think that's a great idea. And I think the other thing that a lot of people don't take into consideration, like, just be transparent yeah like just be honest with your people you know it's hard it just, to be honest with it your just people. makes it a lot easier like i sleep well at night knowing that you know alex is in tune with every dollar that comes in and 
Mm-hmm. Can see every versa. dollar that comes out. And vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't have like the other day we had to have make a change on something. Yeah. We literally have to go to the bank together in order to do anything. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. We have we to schedule time to go you to, guys the went to the bank. You guys to the bank together? We did. We <laughs> have. <laughs> I can't like. Your couple. Vice versa. Neither so of us cute. can fucking make a change yeah. on the bank accounts without a person. So <laughs> we make it very hard to end up in a situation like that this. That is adorable. Yeah. Because it's like. Beamer boys. It's not even. Chill, it's, chill. No. Neither one of us had a Beamer that day. <laughs> That's right. Uh, That's I a thought, fact. I thought this was recent. Wow. I got you. That is a fact. Neither one of us had a Beamer that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah man but i, I yeah. don't know if there's anything else for us to cover oh, cool. other than this has been a fun episode uh, an amazing episode um i liked our know. drake metro shit oh i liked our beyonce talk too yeah that was a good talk <laughs> don't kill me too now, much please. i hope y'all see the nuance in what i was trying to say i know at it's at I, the end yeah, of the podcast well. yeah. and i'm not talking to y'all i'm talking about the listeners because y'all be killing me i don't know yeah i hope they go but people agree the with you <laughs> Some people do. Yeah, people, some people. There's, a, there's a perspective them. for everyone. I don't trust the <laughs> niggas that agree with me. That's the fuck though. Wait, hold on. Do we have a lot of like Beehive members that comment? Find, I don't know. We're gonna I find do. out. We're gonna I find didn't out. know we had Kendrick fans like that. I feel like that doesn't surprise me. Looking at me, one, nigga. <laughs> Kendrick and Push. Why you look to the right, nigga? Right here. Ooh. He, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! It is. <laughs> Listen, Ooh. leave it in the comments, yo. I love you guys. Have been very, uh, you guys have engaged a lot in our last yeah. few episodes. Please continue to keep it up. Amazing. Every topic we spoke about today, whether it be um my crazy theory, again, I'm just talking as a fan. I don't know if it's true or not, but I am familiar with what happened with Gully and Gaza, <laughs> and with the Beyonce stuff. Yeah. Leave it in the comments, mm-hmm. yo. and sit next to your partner at the table. And sit next to your partner at the table. It's like a cross of. Yeah, I need y'all. I need y'all to tap in with Let's that Let's go, one. Pierre. The real lovers win. Real Come on. The real, real lovers. Love is, love is back. We baby. the real haters? I'm a real hater. Damn. Pierre, it's okay. Once Alice and Savon do it, they, they'll they understand it. Wow. It's fine. <laughs> That's why I'm very up. calm about this because I know you're going to yeah. love it. They're going to come to the no, I did it before. Fine. That's why I knew we was horny. Oh, you don't like... Oh. Yo, can we have a competition? <laughs> Allegedly. No. Why not? Friendly. You got to do it. What kind of comp? This is a competition. Yeah. What, what's wrong with what you? Kind of com- so shook. Yeah, I don't do competitions. All right, go. You don't? Nah, go. Go. Let me hear it. All right. So, <laughs> we we got to catch up to Reggie and Pierre, bro. How? We got to. We got to. We got to. We, we just supposed to, to get, get in a relationship for no reason? First bro? one to get cuffed wins. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to, like. Bro, we got to join the club, bro. We can't live our life like please, this. Please, I want. What please. the fuck you mean living our life like this? What the fuck is we living our bro, life like? Stop <laughs> selling your wild oats. Bro, bro, we can't. He's just projecting on you. Bro, what the fuck is we living Bro, we can't go to Thai restaurants by ourselves no more. Yes, you can. But he he had fun doing that. Alex wasn't dolo. He's lying. I was dead ass dolo. I didn't say that. That was an interesting resolution for myself oh, okay i'm the type of nigga that used to laugh at niggas that go to the movies by themselves and shit i've always loved that yeah and nah, i used to clown them niggas Why? so now yeah but Bro, again I'm, i've turned a new leaf now i'm like you know what? i do certain things wait though. that's not that's not it's expected me, from you alex because you're an only child and <laughs> yeah. i feel like only children like doing nah, stuff like that and nah. they don't see it weird like it's yo. funny you bring that up right we enjoy yeah. doing oh my god it's weird i can't explain it it's a little half and half, though, for me personally. Mm-hmm. Just know okay. it's me. The same way you told oh me earlier, God. it's me. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. All right. It's, it's, yeah, all right. It's, it's been a need to know podcast. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's why? Fuck with this nigga's own. He's talking about the real word. Uh, it's been a need to know podcast. What you need to know, what you need to know on the need to know podcast, man. Same time, same place. Leave it in the comments. I know what time it is. Gang. Deuces.